We're doing it again. We're watching five minute crafts. But first, take a look at these thumbnails. Which one should we watch? Everything looks so interesting. Are they feeding their belly button water? Yeah, I hope this is not something else I have been doing wrong my whole life. You drink through your mouth all the time. But did you know you're actually supposed to be drinking through your belly button? That is also a hole that gets thirsty. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what it is. Ew, is it gunk gonna come out? Ew! Bro, what was that? That's the little thing that started the titans. Ugh, I hate when I have the source of all living matter stuck in my belly button. Okay, for real though, people's belly buttons do be dank and stinky though. Have you tried this really cool thing called showering? And then when you get in the shower, you put soap in your belly button and you kind of like, you clean it. Voila, no more lint, no more stink. Also, you just stick your finger in your belly button, sniff it, and if it's stinky, that's your clue to go take a shower. Infinite glizzy hack. Whoa, why does Loki remind me of a thing of dynamite? <laughs> You know, when it's like many dynamites in one thing that go boom. Oh, what was the point of that? Congratulations, you cooked the tips. You got some crispy glizzy tips. And like, what about the rest of the dog? It's got a nice little ombre on it. Okay, what else you got, Five Minute Crafts? Dip some bananas into chocolate and then just blend them up. Put them on a baking sheet and then it makes banana cookies. That easy? Just two ingredients? There has to be another ingredient. Because if I take a chocolate covered banana and then put it into the oven, it's just gonna be melted banana chocolate. It's not going to make a cookie. You could do it with three ingredients. That's the bare minimum. You do it with chocolate, banana, and peanut butter. I feel like I'm going to need to test these out. I am so skeptical. Okay, this is terrifying. What is this? A foot? Whose foot is that? That is horrific. Okay, they made a wax mold out of a foot. And then wait. Just take some gypsum that you have laying around the house. You know your random kitchen drawer that you just put everything in? Just open it up and just grab yourself a container of gypsum and make a foot mold out of it, you idiot. And then just take your torch. Is this even a torch or is this like a power washer? I don't know, they somehow removed all the wax and then put it in a silicone mold. Oh, okay, now I see what they're doing. Why are you filing the toes? They filed too much. Now there's no more toes. You know, that's like the best part of the foot. I don't know, I get a lot of weird DMs and they're just like, show your soles. Like there's two favorite parts of a foot. If you ask an average foot connoisseur, it's gonna be either the soles or the toes that are gonna be the best part of the foot. And five minute crafts just got rid of the toes for some reason, I don't know why. You know, we have to make this flower pot a little more ambiguous. You can't just have the dogs out. They'll freak some people out. Don't tell me that's glue. You know, the glue sticks that you put in a glue gun, don't put them in a waffle maker. You're going to ruin it. Like, what was the point of this? Is it just gonna come out clean? Oh, I'm going to be very satisfied if this comes out clean. Oh, oh, it made a plastic waffle. Glue waffle, glawful. And then put your shoe on the glawful and cut around it. You know, I thought this was five minute crafts, not a five day project. Ugh, I don't like this part. They're sewing the glawful onto the, the silicone foot. Why would you do that? You know, we're gonna take some concealer with a beauty blender. Oh wait, the toes are back. We're gonna make it beautiful. You know, pop some nails onto that. You know, I always wondered how feet were made. What the actual frick? You could wear it too. All I wanna know is why. This is it home decor? You know, you can't just go to the home goods, get a booty shaped flower pot, perhaps a tooth shaped flower pot. No, we're gonna make a realistic foot, put some flowers in it. You know, put it in the middle of the dining table like a little centerpiece. Nothing more appetizing than having this in front of you while you eat your blended chocolate covered bananas. I wanna know how they are coming up with these things. How do you have so many ideas? It's like, they don't have to be good ideas. They just have to be ideas. I'm convinced Five Minute Crafts has a secret lab somewhere in like the Czech Republic or Russia. They pay all these test subjects, like people, here take this pill. And then they go to sleep at night and then they have like absurd nightmares of somebody making a silicone foot, sticking on toenails and then getting a full face beat with a fence concealer and then they wake up like drenched in sweat and explain their dream and then they're like oh okay okay good write it down these are nightmare hacks Ew! did bro take a caca covered toilet out of the dumpster it's okay it's probably just spaghetti stains anyway okay we're not using it as a toilet we're putting charcoal in it no he making a barbecue out of an old toilet you found in the dumpster <laughs> I'm sorry, no amount of disinfectant would make me eat food off of a barbecue toilet. Absolutely not. Don't forget to use the tank as like a cooler. That's like a two-in-one. Cold drinks for the boys and then just grill the glizzies on a toilet hole. Fantastic. I knew it was gonna be glizzies. Why wouldn't it be? They're like 100% serious. I'm starting to like five minute crafts. Why are we making chocolate covered straws? 
Congratulations, it's a crayon cake. Oh, but you can eat it. Oh, it's like one of those frosting ones where you put the cup full of frosting and then boom, it explodes. It doesn't even look that cool. What do you mean a quick meal? A peanut butter jelly sandwich is a quick meal. A hot pocket in the microwave is a quick meal. I gotta get one of these Pillsbury cylinders, put a slice out of a flaky biscuit layer, roll it out with a rolling pin, put it in my skillet, and then what, what, what else did they do? Took some ground beef, put it into the piping bag, and then crack four eggs and separate the yolks from the whites, and then put another layer of flaky biscuit dough. Is it even gonna cook? I feel like it's still gonna be like medium well. What even is this? It's it's like a burger with an egg, but in a, like a pastry. And I'm not complaining about pastries because I love pastries. I feel like this is not a quick meal. Quick clickbait. Somebody saw this in a night terror. A toilet with a full mouth of teeth. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was like AI generated. Gums and teeth on a toilet seat. We're going to generate this. Ah! What is this? This is horrifying. Ew! It kind of looks like that dude from Chainsaw Man. I said gums and teeth on a toilet seat. I'm scared. Let's watch it. How are they gonna do this? You're gonna cut the toilet paper roll. Why would you do that? Take some silicone, you know, because everybody has a whole lab with gallons of silicone just laying around. Would you make a little cup holder? Okay, we're going to put some soap in there, a soap base. Is this gonna make a tooth? Are they actually gonna make, oh, they did, wow. Okay, that's pretty interesting. They used the bottom of the bottle to give it that like tooth shape. I don't know what you gotta be on to look at the bottom of a plastic bottle and be like, that looks like a tooth. Yeah, let's make a mold. And then they have like all these teeth molds and they're like, what do we do with these? You know what? Like the hole on a toilet kind of looks like a mouth and like it opens and closes, right? Like like a mouth. So like, what if we put the teeth around the, the toilet's mouth? I would like to know how these people think and I think that's how they think. It's so creative in the most like gross way. Okay. Let's see it. You have the soap teeth on the toilet. What now? What's the next move? You're going to dismantle another toilet paper roll. Put some Play-Doh on it. What is this part? I don't got anything in my mouth that look like that. Oh, they're dipping it into soap. Oh, okay. Is it another teeth? Or are we making the molars? This is most definitely not a five minute craft. Oh, it's the bottom teeth. You know, we have to make them look a little different. A ligament? What, what, what the heck is even that? I don't know, but I don't think I have it. Imagine a child watching this and somehow they have all of these things in their house and they make this and the parent comes home and then just like, Billy, the toilet has teeth. What have you done? We leave you alone for four days and come home to this. I mean, you should not leave your child alone for four days, especially with the five minute crafts and a house that has 20 gallons of liquid soap and a lignant, whatever that is. Okay, just peel some layers of the gum. Now you need like 10 more pounds of air dry clay to put on the seat. Oh, are we making even more teeth? I'm surprised they're actually going through with this. They're actually making the teeth. But anyways, they're taking more liquid soap and soap. It's low-key kind of a masterpiece. I feel like they would put this in like Art Basel and sell it for like $20,000. Oh, don't forget to put some light in it. If your child won't pee in a regular seat, they will definitely pee in the teeth toilet. Oh, and now you can wash your hands directly in the toilet with the teeth. Fantastic. I'm low-key kind of impressed. I like it. I think it's cool. How about a hairbrush hack? Looks normal. You know, if only there was something that could make getting the hair out of a hairbrush easier. You just put it in water. Congratulations, now you have a wet hairbrush. Like, why are there so many hacks for this? I have tried several and I keep seeing more. It's like, is it such a hassle to take the hair out of the hairbrush and pull it off? Is, it, is that so difficult that there has to be 73 different hacks to get rid of the hair on a hairbrush? I have very little faith in humanity. Take a balloon, cut it, and then put it over the faucet. Ah, and then you can put a hose through it. Okay, well, this might actually be like a legitimate hack. Wow! We got one! An actual five minute hack. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some more weird five minute hacks from five minute crafts. I always forget if it's crafts or hacks. What's going on here? Have two of your friends stick multiple lines of tape on your butt and then spray paint it. Those are a perfectly good pair of jeans. They fit so good too. Those are probably your favorite jeans. As she came to work one day like, okay, you know what? You're gonna have to trust in the process. It's okay, just take off the tape and wait, that's it. That was the hack. Y'all just spray painted some lines on some jeans. You know how to ruin a perfectly good pair of jeans in five minutes or less.
Are your jeans too big? Just take a stapler and staple them to fit you, idiot. You would think that's obvious, right? What are you gonna do with the rest? Cut it off? Oh, they're seriously gonna cut it off. What about the staples? Oh, and then you're just gonna sew it? And wow, a perfectly fitted pair of jeans. Who said stapling was just for papers? Reminds me of the episode of Family Guy. Or was it Simpsons? Anyways, he had like a bunch of extra skin and he just like takes it back and like staples it. Oh, maybe it wasn't a stapler. <laughs> I'm thinking of this meme where he takes all his extra skin and he just like pins it back and then takes his back fat and like ties it into a knot. Okay, yeah. Okay, another jean hack. What happened to her jeans? Somebody took two pizza slices out of it. I mean, maybe they just like cut it down on the side and then they're gonna lace it back up. Because who doesn't love having cold cheeks? I'm all for clothes that got like random cutouts. Like cut out on your thigh, cut out on your tummy. But like your butt cheeks? I would like them covered. I'm sorry, did a pregnant woman just dig a hole with her belly to plant some cilantro? <laughs> you know, why dig a hole like this where you can just plop a belly in it? I've been digging holes wrong my whole life. And maybe I should just get pregnant. I'm a cute pregnant. Planting things would be a lot easier. If you are pregnant and would like to lay on your stomach, sleep on a tire so you don't squish the baby. No, for real though, what happens if you sleep on your stomach if you're pregnant? The baby gonna come out like this. <laughs> that cannot be comfy. Blow a balloon through a hole. Oh. Makes for a unique baby shower card. How are you gonna put that in an envelope and then send it to people? You have to like physically hand it to them. Like, oh look, here. Take my blow up card. It's like a single man making up these hacks for pregnant women. Y'all ever get so hungry you eat a zipper? Oh wait. Whoa. You know, unfortunately, some people are too stupid to just like put their zipper together and then pull it up. They gotta put it on a fork to assist them. Some people need all the help they can get. What filth did they pull out of the iPhone's holes? There's no way. I mean, I got a case on it and then the case covers the speakers. So I don't know, people who exist without a phone case, are you okay? How are things at home? Filthy plants, just take some tape and just lint roll them. Y'all ever lint roll the bugs off your plants? <laughs> Very creative way to torture the bugs eating your plants. You know what, I actually might try it. And usually I just like spray them away, but like this could do nicely. Horrible driver, need a little squishy? Put an army of squeaking chickens on your bumper. So every time you hit something, it's <laughs> Nice, it's the sound of a warning. Whoa! I saw a Kim Kardashian hack of this one. So when you wear something that's like low cut and you want some cleavage, you have to like tape, like they're taping the balloons. It doesn't work. I've tried doing that once. I mean, I feel like you have to put a lot of tape and you have to like do it like halfway down your back and then grab your boob and then just like, I don't know. It just like holds it up. This is actually like a legitimate hack. What did they put around their car? A bubble? That's gotta be AI generated. That cannot be real. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. <laughs> did you see what they just did? Okay, this is actually quite creative and it makes me wonder if it actually would work. You put a deflated basketball and then blew it up inside the car and kind of like popped it out. You know what, in theory it makes sense, but also I heard like boiling water, like you pour that on like a dent in your car and it's supposed to like pop out. There's something very suspicious about this bagel. Oh, what is that? No, oh! I've seen this before, up close. I thought it was chocolate, but it's just poppy seeds. It's poppy seeds like up close. Like there's 4K and then there's whatever this is. 8K, 16K, I don't know. I feel like it's illegal to see things this closely. How HD is 2 HD? When you can smush the poppy seed and see juice come out. Ah, this activates my trypophobia. Sometimes I'm thankful the human eye can't see this close. I wanna see this, not this. Take some cheese slices. Yeah, a couple more. It's a whole lot of cheese slices. Make a hole in it. You know, you can go to the store and buy cheese with a hole in it. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay, you lost me. You layered cheese and meat and then deep fried it into a donut. I think this is what people in other countries think Americans eat for every meal. Just take everything and deep fry it. 
Why are they covering this woman full of pennies? She is not the Walmart coin machine. Are we cleaning the pennies? Why did we cover her with a bunch of dirty pennies? Was this a punishment? Did she do a bad thing? So instead of locking her in the basement closet, we're gonna cover her with filthy pennies. While she's in the basement, don't forget to take her toothpaste and individually brush all of the pennies. It's not good enough that they're clean. We're gonna stack them on top of each other and then drill a hole in them. You could just drill a hole into a stack of pennies. I feel like it would not be that powerful. I mean, you gotta make holes in it somehow. Oh, what are we doing? Making a necklace? Yeah, I thought this was just five minute crafts. I have five minutes. I'm going to watch this on my lunch break and attempt to duplicate it. So far, we're at a few hours. You expect me to soak my pennies in some coke and then individually brush each one before drilling it and making it into what is this next year's Coachella fit? The penny princess. Now the first part makes sense. She's dreaming about wearing pennies. I want a really cool, unique dress and I want it to cost me exactly $5. It's gonna take like five days of your time though. And I thought this started as a punishment and then it went to a penny cleaning hack and, and then a penny dress. With five minute crafts, you never know where you're gonna end up. Probably in jail. I feel like a lot of this should be illegal. What did they, ah! That's a tongue! Okay, you know, if you ever have some silicone laying around, make a, a mold of your tongue. Yeah, don't forget the teeth. Like, where do you find all of these things? Oh, they're making an AirPod case with tongue and a teeth. We're gonna paint it flesh colored. You know, add some nail polish for some lip gloss. Oh, okay, I don't like the piercing. Oh, it's not even done. This thing is terrifying, but it's actually pretty cool. You know, y'all are so creative. Just make a channel called Five Day Crafts. These will take several days to make, like with the with the making of the mold and then waiting for it to dry and then taking it out and then making the other mold and then making a mold of each individual tooth. My dentist can't even make teeth molds that quick. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's creepy, I like it. Oh, it's like a handstand. You know, there's two kinds of handstands. A handstand and then a hand stand. <laughs> so stupid. You know, you couldn't have put like a cotton ball or a tissue. Yeah, y'all put a mini strawberry in this woman's ear to make a silicone mold. Okay, go off. Wow, it actually looks like an ear. It's like a perfect replica of her ear. I just made a phone case. Okay, what about the camera? Oh, they cut up a hole for that. Oh, they're already two steps ahead of me. They cut up a Coke can. Okay, you need some kind of like backing. We're making like this legit. Okay, you know what? This is actually really cool. Add a piercing to it. Five minute crack? No. Five minutes of crack? Possibly. I'm I'm telling you, they be pulling random things out of the jar. Ear, phone case. <gasps> Genius, make an ear phone case. Take a banana, preserve it. Oh, so the stuff that they pour to make the molds is silicone. And then they pour things inside the silicone to make like a duplicate. Well, a gallon of silicone later, you have a banana mold. Now you can make an infinite amount of bananas. All you need is some liquid plastic. Just pour it in the mold, paint it yellow, and then you have a faux banana. And then make like five more. They're gonna make a half of this dude. It looks like cardboard. It's like between cardboard and plastic. A lot of people use it for cosplay, like to make armor and stuff. I've made armor out of this before. But like basically you put it on something and then you use the heat gun dryer and then it just like molds to the shape of the thing. See, it's molded perfectly to the head shape. Warbler, that's what it's called. It just came to me. Sometimes I'd be forgetting things. It's like a magical substance. I guess it's a helmet. Go bananas. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Nobody got time for all that. I don't like the way you just did that. You know, why cut things and put them into the salad when you can just have a net and smear them through? This is horribly unrelated. No, it's actually very much related, but it's just very disgusting. But there was a meme. It was like, what do you do when you have to poop in the shower? I can't show it. It's poop. Do you take it and then just throw it in the toilet? Or do you mash it down the drain with your foot? And then I was like, whoa, do people actually do this? and then uh, I told somebody about this meme and they confirmed that some people do that. Okay, well that's what this reminded me of. I have that knowledge and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna take some strawberries, some aloe vera, some banana. Why so little banana? What are we making here? Okay, this is interesting. Wait, it's growing? What kind of frankenfruit are you growing with that? A little bit of banana, sprinkle some of this and then enclose it together and they had some kind of baby, some kind of fruity love child. 
why did you have some banana and aloe vera in it? Like, is that, is it gonna grow a strawberry? Yeah, I don't believe a thing that they're doing. I feel like they're just like attaching strings to random objects and then saying it's roots and then just putting it in the dirt. I feel like people who watch five minute crafts are sayers and not doers. They will not try the hack. They just watch it online and they're like, whoa, I should try that. And then they never do. And then that's why we never know if these things actually work or not. Hello friends, it's me. You know what? Five Minute Crafts have been real quiet lately. I wonder what they've been up to. Oh, good to see that nothing has changed. Harry Pitts, no razor, no problem. Take your friend's half-suckered sucker. Apply it to the unwanted hair. That hair wasn't even attached. They did a jump cut. Look, it's attached, right? And then it's gone. You know, not like it was shaved in the first place. Those aren't even armpit hairs. They're eyelashes. They really stuck eyelashes to her pits. Held by the moistness of her pits. Oh, well, bam. Did he put it back in his mouth? My man is down bad. I've had enough. It can't get worse, right? Is this North Korea? Are you not allowed to bring makeup into the workplace that you gotta like smuggle it into the heel of your shoe to wear lipstick? How does that support your entire body weight while you walking on it? Unless you go on tippy toe all the way to your cubicle. You couldn't have put it in your shirt or perhaps up your nostril. Would have been a more useful hack. Take your child's favorite T-Rex toy. Saw its head off. Put the glue on, oh, not the glue. What do we put in a Barbie head? No, a plate. And then, oh. Mom, what happened to my favorite T-Rex toy? Not now, Billy. Mommy saw this hack on Pinterest. Enjoy some paint particles with your Oreos. So they put tape around their ankle. Put some glitter all over their feet. I'm making... What was the point of that? Glitter socks? Aw, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Are you missing one of your five senses? Are you not uncomfortable? You know when you go to the beach and your feet are covered in sand? You usually wipe the sand off before you put your foot back in your shoe. But no, imagine just sandy foot just in the shoe. It's not even cute. You look diseased. Did your heel break? Just attach a tube of lipstick to it. Isn't that what you did in the other hack? Take some epoxy resin, some UV light. Yeah, because I just got resin and a UV light laying around. And corn? Did y'all just fossilize a corn on the cob? They're gonna make it as a heel? That's not gonna stay. That's not gonna stay, stupid. That will support me for exactly two seconds before I twist my ankles and sue you guys. Y'all could've shaved down the, the top of it so it lays flush against the shoe. But no, you know why? Because nobody's actually gonna try this. So so, screw doing it right. Feet. You know, because we all have a mold of our feet lying around, right? Well, let me check my junk drawer. Oh, here comes the glue gun. The glitter glue gun. Somebody need to confiscate it from you guys. What? What did you just do? An attachment for your shoes? The glitter toes? Y'all just yassified Bigfoot and called it a hack. Somebody take that glue gun away. Mm, you lost glue gun privilege and feet privilege and hack privilege. No more privileges. Hey, that came off a little too easy. Is it the way they just yank the pocket off those jeans? You are powerful indeed. You know what better to replace it with than a pop it? Oh, is that it? That was the hack. You know, who needs a pocket when you gotta pop it? I was slapping that thing. Okay, not bad. I gotta like this. Take some wax paper. Draw on fangs. Ah, oh, the glue gun. Here we go again. That's how you know it's gonna be a quality hack. <laughs> I want to slobber on your arm. Ugh. This is embarrassing. This is not even a good hack. What are they doing to her butt? Putting tape? Spray paint? That was the hack? You ruined a good pair of perfectly fitting jeans. This is not a hack, this is bullying. Is it supposed to look good? You ruined the pants. The only thing this would be good for is immediately sitting in places that you want to stain with paint after doing the hack. Shorts too big? No problem, just take a stapler and... Can you do that? I mean, shouldn't you do it the other way? Like, put it inside out and then do it on the inside and then that actually might work. Wow, they fit good now. No! No, you actual idiot! It's just gonna come apart! The staples will not hold! I'll put a lot of trusted staples! Oh, are they sewing it? Oh, okay. Wow, the first hack that they actually brought the sewing machine out. You know, it's supposed to be a hack so you don't have to use a sewing machine. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. Well, whoop de doo guess what? These new shorts, paid actor. Those are a whole entire different pair of shorts! They're not the same ones. <laughs> Not the glue gun again. Are they making a case for their iPhone? Oh, that, that looks like underwear. Cut out the underwear. Why did you make underwear out of glue? I feel like the iPhone has nothing to do with this. Oh, did they just make panties for their iPhone? Like the phone is gonna crap its 
myself <laughs> no, horrible diarrhea after watching this five minute crafts video. What was the point? You can't even press the home button now. You can turn it on, check the time, admire the glue panties you just made for a phone. Thin lips? Start biting the skin off of them. I do that when my lips are dry and crusty. Just gnaw on the dead skin. And then put chapstick and that's it. That's all you gotta do, just bite them. Wait, wait, wait. I have everything necessary to try this right now. Do my lips look bigger? Give me an honest answer. Extra watches? Pop them on your feet because it is flex o'clock. Why? There's no strap. How is the sandal being supported? What kind of hack is this? Because it's not fixing the shoe. It's not practical. How do you even do this? My watch can only be this big and I don't think this is going to go over my foot. I don't want to show you how crusty my feet are, but this is as much as I could get my watch through my foot. This is not going to work. It will never make it to the ankle. It's five minute crafts flexing on me. Do you want us to feel poor? Ha! Huh, peasants. You know, nothing says money like wearing a watch on both ankles and both toes you know those slap bracelets I love these I grew up with them take three of them where am I gonna get three of them from if I search my entire house and all of my drunk drawers I will maybe have half of one put in some fabric close it oh, okay you made like a thick one. Oh, on shoes so if you ever have any naked sandals laying around oh no no they weren't naked they literally destroyed the sandals for this hack a perfectly good pair of sandals destroyed replaced by the slap bracelet. Just put it under your shoe. Is it under or did they put it in? They put it in the shoe somehow, but they made it look really easy. How did you do that? Did you have to slice the shoe like a hot pocket and then just shove it in and then it closes on your little piggies? Did that make sense? Don't let Balenciaga see this hack. This one might actually be a legitimate one. Woo! Five minute crafts, your first real hack. How does it feel? You ever wear heels like this and you get like a horribly painful imprint? Yes, all the time. What can I do about it? Because this is something I'm actually interested in. Oh, they're tying a fabric on it and then made a... The bow is gonna make it hurt even more. Why did you add a bow? Man, I would've just wrapped it around and it would've actually worked. I mean, it is kind of cute, but that bow is gonna be just as irritating as the shoe. Kind of defeats the purpose. With most of these, all I can ask is why. Hey, what did they do to the Barbies? What happened to the rest of them? Hey, this is psychopath behavior. They really popped the head off and then the legs and then popped the head onto the hips. What's happened to the whole middle section? I mean, you know, it's kind of cool. I like this. <laughs> okay, but what did you do with all the spare Barbie boob? Are they just chilling in a closet somewhere waiting to be used for another hack? Also, what about the arms? I gotta know. Mother will not let you dye your hair. Dye your hair yourself. With lipstick? You can legit do this? And just brush it through? I have a hard time believing this without it looking crusty. Like you just take lipstick, brush it through, and it can temporarily dye dark hair? If so, that's pretty cool. You know, 10 year old me would have went bananas for this. I was so jealous of all the girls with blonde hair in my school that were like dyeing their hair with Kool-Aid. And then I had the audacity to ask my mom for Kool-Aid so I could dye my dark brown hair like it was gonna turn red and I really thought take a hat glue some pieces of fabric to it does she make a wig out of it girl what is that put some beads you know I thought she was gonna braid it make like one of those like spinning hats I don't know it was starting out promising okay I thought this was gonna be a legitimate hack she just braided a cap made a denim wig wore it to the club it's so bad that even the other five-minute craft folks are like girl what is that what you got on your head you and your partner, chilling in bed. Are no snacks good enough that you have to take an entire box of cereal, open it up like a box of donuts, and pour the entire thing of milk? It's gonna get soggy. Oh, so you can both just like go at it at the same time. In bed. You eat in bed. I don't wear shoes in my house, and you want me to eat in bed. Who's gonna finish a whole box of cereal in one sitting? Do not underestimate a good depression meal. All right, all right. You know what? This is not bad. But you gotta like hurry up and eat it before it gets too soggy, you know? Took their feet. Put on socks that look exactly like their feet with sandals on. Oh, we got the whole squad here. The whole squad of imposters. None of you guys are actually wearing sandals. I bet you got some crusty feet under there too. What is the point of this? What is the reason? Y'all want to make it look like you're wearing sandals when you're not? Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some creative people on the internet. She's making art out of plaster. I love plaster art. There's so much things you could do with plaster. It's like clay, but like very moldable and you can buy it by the bucket full. And then you can make like a modern day sculpture. You just mold it into the wall, sand it down. It's literally so cool. It's basically like permanent wall art. A sculpture in the wall. There's a word for that. Bass relief. 
Kind of. Wait, yeah, it is. See, I know a thing or two about art. It's like the sculptures that like pop out of the walls. Okay, but don't pop out too much though or I'm gonna get scared. Like imagine walking downstairs to get a glass of water in the middle of the night and the sculpture opens her eyes and then looks at you like she want a glass of water too. They are making art in Minecraft. Is that a mural? Are we gonna zoom out and it's gonna be something insane? Or is it a joke? Oh, it's a fit. Oh, is that Timothy Chalamet? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Wow. Wait a second. Are we gonna completely ignore the fact that that line turned into a mouth, turned into a nose, turned into an entire face out of pixels? I don't know who the guy is, but y'all must really like him to spend days making a mural of his face in Minecraft. Only my mom likes me that much. We've saved so much of these little wax things from Baby Bell cheeses that my kids eat just for fun and eventually wanted to turn them into a candle. This is the hack I've been waiting for. I always wanted to watch somebody make something out of the skin of the Baby Bell cheeses because it's like a nice little wax. Is it just straight up wax that you can turn into a candle? You just melt it. Oh, it's the paper. You just remove the paper. Blech. Ew, cursed noodle. Remove the noodle from thy soup. And they made a candle out of it, but it doesn't smell like cheese. It's kind of disappointing. I do love the smell of baby bell cheese. You could also like put in some essential oils in there, make a smelly candle. I wonder if they have cheese scented essential oil. You could probably go out of your way to make it smell like cheese. You can literally buy anything off the internet. You can melt the wax, make a candle out of it, and then buy stinky cheese, oil-based scent, put a few drops of this, depending on how stinky you want it, and make a stinky cheese scented candle, if you're weird like that. Or you could just do lavender like a normal person. Let's play real or cake. This dude, Bake King, actually lives up to his name. Cake or cap? It's cake. <laughs> no cap, it's cake. <laughs> I don't trust anything on the internet anymore. It was April Fool's the other day. I fell for almost everything my friends posted. The KFC, it's cake. The burger, it's cake. You know, there's a better chance if I just guess cake. Steak or cake? That's cake. Lizzy dog or cake? Nothing's real anymore. It's all cake no matter what. You live in a simulation. We're all gonna wake up one day, everything's gonna be cake. You're gonna get hungry, take a bite of yourself, it's cake. And then everybody ends up eating themselves or other people will eat you because you are cake and that's how the human race will become extinct. I'm calling it. Let me get my Netflix original. Speaking of cake, look how good this looks. It's like a strawberry shortcake. Oh, sorry. Strawberry crunch shortcake bar. You know, if you want to get specific with the pastries. I'm not believing anything anymore. But you know, just because I see it on the internet, I'm not gonna believe it. It's slime. Smush it. Yeah. Oh, I just love this texture. The moussey texture of the slime. I bought one of these before. They're so good. It's like a DIY build your own slime treat. Except you can't actually eat it. I wonder how many kids have gone to the hospital for eating slime. Because if I grew up with slime dessert dupes, especially if they're scented, it'd be over, I'd be dead. Her intestines filled up with slime and she died. Don't eat the slime. And we got the real life Willy Wonka. What's he making today? Bro's got a whole chocolate factory. What is that, a brush? A paintbrush? I even made the letters on the paintbrush. He just painted the chocolate. My guy is a genius. You know, his only competition is himself. It's like he watches his previous video and he's like, how can I top this? And thinks for like three seconds and he's like, okay, I got it. Keeps making chocolate sculptures better than his last. You know, at this point, Willy Wonka be reading his book. How does he do it? Stop making things look magnetic. It's not, it's chocolate. It's not magnetic. This is hurting my brain. Not that easy. This takes hours of work. Do you think he's like super serious the entire time he's doing this? And then during the two seconds he puts something together, he like, throws on a smile while he does it and then the rest of the time he's just like super serious focused on everything and then just like cameras rolling go i can't believe somebody just made that out of chocolate the most impressive part about this is that he's wearing white with no apron now i would have been covered in chocolate skid marks i need to see like a complete time lapse of these videos to see how it's actually done see i told you i was feeling skeptical i don't believe anything anymore your fingerprint my fingerprint is that a Baby Bell cheese wrapper? Oh, that was just the mold. And then they made an actual fingerprint ring out of gold. Okay, you really have to trust the process on that one. <laughs> like, what? what is this? Y'all press your fingers into some Play-Doh? But the end result, 
gorgeous. I never thought something so gimmicky would end up looking so good. So it would be like the perfect wedding ring or promise ring or divorce ring, congratulations ring. I don't know. People be getting rings for everything these days. Nightly addition to the contact ball. Whoa. Why doesn't everybody do this? I hate wearing contacts. They're so difficult to put in. So I simply don't do it. But like if you wear contacts every day and then take them out at night, what's stopping you from doing this? Making a little contact ball. It's actually so cool. I'm very impressed. <laughs> It just simply sticks. Each day it grows even more powerful with your eyeball DNA. Oh wow, I thought that was a real cactus. They're making each leaf of the succulent out of icing and then add all the little spikes. Okay, wow, I can't even tell the difference. You know what's stopping you from throwing a couple of real cactus into the mix? Just to spice things up a bit, we're gonna play a little bit cupcake roulette. One will be delicious, one has very sharp needles that will stab you through the tongue. I think it'd be fun. <laughs> Okay, Carrie's Boo Cakes makes the most beautiful cakes I have ever seen. Like, it's a rose, and like, look at the technique! Just in one fell swoop! Okay, I don't know what kind of applicators y'all be using. The way you can just swirl it around, and it'll make a rose. Who's gonna eat this? It's too beautiful to eat! Okay, I'm gonna stare at it until it goes stale. They put their school photo in their phone case, so that when they use the flash to take a picture, <laughs> The eyes light up. What did you say? It's giving evil Patrick. I'm pretty cool. She braided her hair and made Hello Kitty out of the beads. Whoa. Okay, but you gotta keep all your hair in the back at all times. Otherwise, it's gonna be half a kitty. You can't do this. It all has to stay back. That is so cute. But I know she's sick and tired of being in that chair all day. <laughs> They drew a masterpiece, the Mona Lisa, on their pants, just to wipe it all away. Okay, we're gonna do another one now, Mustache Man. Probably waiting for his girlfriend to get ready. I already went to the bathroom and forgot his phone. Guess I'll entertain myself. Guess I'll draw several masterpieces on my velvet pants just to erase them and start again. My favorite nail page on TikTok. Back at it again, but this time with reverse nails. I don't like the idea of this. You scoop things like this, but it's like reverse scoop. So you can like scoop like, are you going to fill them with something? Oh, I guess so. The scoops are meant to be filled with what? Ice cream. Oh, you could actually use it to scoop ice cream. Okay, I can get behind this. If you think about it, scooping ice cream like this with your nails, disgusting and primitive. But if the scoop is like on the outside, that's a different story. You scoop at the other other way, it's like the future. Especially for someone like me who prefers to eat everything with their fingers. I would scoop my ice cream with my nail to not have to wash a spoon. The coffee table. Where's the coffee table? I just see a coffee. Oh! <laughs> Wait a second! Well, this is genius! A coffee table that's made of a cup of coffee! I like it! Okay, and then the glaze on top. Wait, is this something you can actually buy? Yeah, let me just set my cup of coffee on my giant cup of coffee, which just so happens to be my coffee table. Now, coffee's getting real expensive these days. You know, eight, nine dollars for a cup of coffee at your local coffee shop. A literal coffee table for the low price of two thousand dollars. Being able to enjoy a cup of coffee on your literal coffee cup table priceless. You know, you can justify a $2,000 coffee table. It'll practically pay for itself. If you spend 250 days making coffee at home, coffee table is basically free. Girl math. Another day, another lock. Oh, oh, what? Okay, this is actually so smart. <laughs> The lowest budget lock I've ever seen, but it actually works. They made this out of a plastic bottle, and it works better than most locks. Maximum security. All you gotta do is unscrew the bottle, and then they cut it in half and opens the door. Wow, I'm so impressed by this. <laughs> I think they deserve a Nobel Prize. That's how I draw birds too. You know, just two little lines. Oh, hey, what about the rest of the painting? Whoa. Oh, that would have been so satisfying, you know. Two more brush strokes and I'm done. I can practically hear him cuckooing. What a beautiful landscape. Yeah, that'll be $9,000, please. Telling my friends to draw me a hairstyle. So she just drew some squiggles. And you gonna style that? <laughs> there it is! Literally brought it to life. With her hair? This dude literally drew Pepe. How are you gonna pull this one? She pulled it off! Okay, I don't know how. How is the little piece of his lip sticking up in the middle? How does one even do this on themselves? There ain't no way. You know, I put my hair up, it falls. Her hair is breaking every law of physics. I don't even know how this is done. There are some talented people on the internet. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some creative people on the internet. 
They put paint under a phone case and they oh, smushed it real good. Hey, yo, yellow, yellow still got a way to go. It's struggling. Oh, and they made a custom phone case out of it. <gasps> I didn't know you could do this. Wait, they make it a QR code out of Lego? You could do that. You can do that! Of course, it's Shardy. Shardy. <laughs> Shardy with a melody in my head. I can't believe it worked. Imagine going through all that effort and it didn't. No way. No way! <laughs> Imagine being so good at darts and art at the same time. So they gonna go exactly where he wants them to go? Literally just threw darts at a few boards and made a masterpiece. They carved a lipstick to look like a crewmate. <laughs> so when you roll it up, it's like, there he is. I saw red vents on cam. This is what their kitchen looked like before, right? They painted it white, added some gray streaks on it. Y'all got that marble look for real. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? And the finished product, mwah, beautiful. You told me that's not marble? Y'all painted that? I didn't even know you could paint countertops. I've been obsessed with these videos. I've been seeing them all over Twitter. Where people take the glass from a frame, paint it, and then it look messy on the back. You gotta trust the process and then flip it over. Wa-bam! Looking like some original art. They're shaving ice. Is this what bartenders do during the day? You know, when they ain't get any customers? Made a glass out of the ice. You know, it's all fun and games and real cool until you actually have to pick it up to drink with it. <laughs> what happens if it melts before I can finish my drink? Start out with a rectangle, right? It ain't no rectangle anymore. Bro, there's a whole secret basement. Inside of the paper, it's got a ladder and everything. All right, it's flat, it's still a drawing. We had to check. It's crazy how you go from this. I could draw that right now. And then you like change the angle and you got this. Oh, I was about to say, I thought this was one pristine looking brick or perhaps a very large piece of gum. Oh no, they're making a present out of it. You know, I wanna say this is a cake, but I don't know. Something tells me it's not. Something tells me I can't eat it. Ooh, this is how they make fancy chocolates. Oh, that's how they fill them with filling. So they pour them in the mold, take out the excess, put the, oh, that's, that's very good, very good. So you got these Skittles, right? When you pour this liquid over it, the colors run. So they're like, we're gonna do this times 10,000. So they put down literally thousands of Skittles, pull the plug, drop the liquid, and you could see the art being made in real time. I'll let the Skittles make the art for me. Same, my face too when I realize what you've done. Ooh, what kind of paper is this? I like it. Very squishy. <gasps> wait, wait. Those aren't real wrenches. So they, they just poured in. Oh, is it silver? They poured in like liquid metal and then they popped it out of the mold and it's like wabam. Twin wrenches conjoined at birth. Ooh, if I didn't have my glasses on, I would have thought he reached into a pot of mashed potatoes. Like these be looking a little chunky. Made a tortilla or perhaps a pizza? Lego toilet paper. Y'all know what it feels like when you step Ooh. on it, but how would it feel like to wipe with that? <laughs> I hope I never find out. Ooh, they make it a pizza. Oh, and they spilled that sauce. Oh, that's nice. That was a nice spill. Now spread it around. And the cheese, don't forget the cheese. Oh. I don't know what's more satisfying, pizza or the animation. Very delicious but not so nutritious. I really thought this dude was kidding. I sampled my own fart. You know when I read that, I thought he was just like sampled as in we're gonna smell different fart, maybe taste. No, 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 no. He made a beat. Look, that was his fart. That's still his fart. Was I really just vibing to the sound of a fart? This is my dad and every year he builds something in our driveway for Halloween. Every year? My dad can't even put lights on a tree. And you telling me this dude making like, I was gonna say life size, but animatronics larger than the house. What is it made of? How you make a monkey this large? It moves, it talks, it roars. What happens when he's done with it? Does he like store it somewhere? Y'all just have like a huge backyard with all these props chilling in there. This is crazy.
We've seen plenty of glass making, but have you ever seen them make succulents out of glass? Every single little piece, just like handmade. It's like they lay the glass, they pull it, and it starts to turn green. Whoa! And then they made a little chandelier out of it. Wow. For a hot second, I thought this was Play-Doh, but no, this is candy. She is working with candy. That's a lot of sugar. Did she blow it up? She's blowing it up. She's blowing the candy up. Suddenly, it is a popcorn bowl. How? Nobody's gonna know. When I say these people are getting way too creative, Wow, so satisfying. Oh, look at that paint, so smooth. Yellow! Someone really imagined yellow to look like that in real life. I thought yellow was like, ooh, not this. So they're making candy, but not just any candy, right? Ooh, that sugar be looking thick. With a Q. <gasps> it's so long. Oh my goodness, it is crewmate candy. Eat all of them. Diabetes was the imposter. So they took a Pokemon card of Eevee, all cute or whatever, painted around the card. Everything is gone except the original picture of the Eevee and then they painted this beautiful landscape. Now this is what I call art. Very nice. I ain't never seen anybody do a puzzle like this. Like first they laid all the pieces out like in a perfect ombre. And then they're like, okay, time to put them all together. I ain't got this kind of patience. And then you put it all together. I thought the colors were all gonna like somehow connect, but nope, straight lines. Were y'all even part of the same puzzle? Oh yeah, they were. Hands, big hands, big hands, oh no, tighten hands. They about to break into your house. So imagine living in this apartment and they just like pop down some hands, big sculptural hands. Yeah, I can't really see out my window anymore, but art. Speaking of crazy sculptures, we got this. Woman looking 3D printed or whatever. Hair going straight into the ocean. Probably got some seaweed and algae chilling in there. Oh, that's cool. Wait guys, look. What? So you know those little beads that you can iron and then you could like press them together? So they made a bee, right? And then they glued it to make it 3D. Put it on a string, put it on the fence, and then look, at night they light up because they popped LEDs in there. Very cute, might just get stung. Okay, it started out with a square and then look, just connect the lines. Easy, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, why is this so satisfying? Give me a sharpie right now, I'm trying to do this. They took a watermelon, put a cement blanket on top of it, cut the excess. Oh no, those were just gray towels. Now we got the real cement. But first they're gonna make a cement glove out of a rubber glovey, pop it off and well bam. Then take out all the cement from the mold. Pour more, oh there is just so much that you could do with cement. Is it just me or those hands be looking thick? Knuckles be looking bloated. Came out quite nice. So again, it looks very simple, right? We have two circles, and then they're gonna shade them in. Add some shine, a little shadow. And then this one, we're gonna make it even shinier. It's got that cute little reflection. Wowee. Who this orb looking so cute for? On the bottom of this pool, they painted a shark. When you're jumping in and you're looking at it from above, it looks like you're about to get eaten. Probably the safest way to get eaten by a shark. Would recommend. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all are moving a little too fast for me. What is going on? Are y'all painting with ginger juice? So the whole beginning thing of you peeling an orange, was that, that was a distraction? Or are y'all getting colors out of that? Ginger juice, painting samurais or whatever. And then they drew over them. Wait, y'all y'all are moving too fast. They cut them out, they put them, oh, what? They made this whole 3D ad art or whatever. You know, I would have thought this was Photoshopped or something, but they like hand drew all of these. The orange peels and the ginger and the star, that's the set. Y'all are like too creative. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some really cool inventions and gadgets. Ooh, what is this? What are you unboxing? A water bottle with bubbles? Oh no, it's ice, it makes ice. Ooh, I can't wait to see what kind of ice comes out. And then you pop it in the freezer. Open it up, I know it's gonna be frozen. You have to pull it apart. <gasps> and then it makes the most 
perfect round ice balls. Oh, this is cool. But for $32 for a fancy ice maker, I have a feeling it's not gonna work perfectly every time. If it's too frozen, either the lid's gonna get stuck, when you try to open it apart, it's gonna get stuck. I am skeptical. Have you ever seen such a stain resistant couch? Literally hydrophobic. Bro, what are you even patting down? There's nothing on it. Ew, 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 get off me, get off me. Is that Coke? Get off me, on the floor you go. Disgusting, don't do that again. Wait, that's illegal. I have never seen this before. Are you sick and tired of the cars running over pedestrians in your town? Install a standing crosswalk where the yellow lines on the road literally rise up to protect the pedestrian crossing the road. And no, 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 and nutty, nutty, you will not run over another person again. I feel like there's a higher chance of getting smacked in the face by this than getting run over by a car. Like what if I'm on the other side of the crosswalk and it starts like, oh, just another obstacle. I have to avoid. This pen will save you from boring days in class. What does it do? Does it change colors or something? Wait, what? It's got fidget spinner, magnets. You made this man out of the pen? Who is he? Oh. So the pen is made of a bunch of magnets and you could like take it apart, build things out of them, spin things. You know, some people can actually pay attention better while they're like fidgeting with things. Hello? Yes, that's me. So I don't think it's like a horrible thing to be like, <laughs> building, doing things with your hand while you're listening in class, you know, as long as you're listening and like the information's going through. What? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. For all you clumsy folk out there, knock over mother's expensive fine china. It's like it activates right before you fall and it spawns a cushion around the object falling. Does it work on humans? <gasps> oh, it does. Hey, that would have been a broken bone. <laughs> you gotta have it on you at all times, like a belt. But what if I'm not wearing my belt? Then you take fall damage, simple. But if you're wearing the belt, it just like, like a protection. Protective tampon. So I'm addicted to this, um, not in a literal medical sense, but I don't think I could live without it. And it's very convenient. It's for laundry. I, mean, I thought the thing under the bed was cool, but this is literally a hole in your wall. And it's like a vacuum. And it like sucks in the clothes and deposits them straight in the laundry room downstairs. You know what? I don't know why a lot of houses, they don't make the laundry room by the bedroom. That would make everybody's life much easier. You know what, I'm sick and tired of seeing useful things that the internet keeps telling me to buy. How about some useless things? Avocado stick. Somebody took one look at a deodorant stick and was like, this is so easy to apply. Why can't it have avocado in it? And I just, my toast. So they made an avocado stick. Just shove some avocado in there and just smear it on the toast. I think this would be better with butter. Butter on a stick on some hot toast. No knife necessary? Sign me up. Two guys in Russia made a car completely out of ice. It's got wheels, you could drive in everything. It's an iced out G-Wagon, for real. Literally iced out. You know, it's only a matter of time before it melts, right? You can drive it all winter. And then in summer, you gotta walk. They were getting pizza and they gave them. Whoa, I have never seen that before. It's like a hand that like picks up the slice, just snatches it. That's pretty neato, oh, I like that. What are these? A portable seat? Oh, they're like these things that you put on your leg. Oh, so that's how people do it. When it looks like they're sitting on an invisible seat. But they're these rods that just go in your pants so you can sit anywhere chair free. Oh, I would love to squat over the public toilet and knees. There's this thing called the kick fix that you attach to your bed, put it under, and then you just kick your dirty laundry under the bed. And then when it's laundry day, take it out. It's basically the laundry basket under your bed. That's smart. You know, for all you animals that take off your clothes, buy your bed and just like kick it under the bed. That is a good idea. I think a lot of you guys have seen the standing keyboard that I invented. That's a keyboard? Well, it's time for the Why standing is it so mouse. long? You just need to grab your mouse and you slide it right in there. And you can still use your mouse by pushing the buttons. So you stand up and so use your and mouse. The button for you. Also, when you spin the gear up here, it spins them all the way down. So then it rolls the ball down at the bottom. Your productivity has absolutely never been higher. I have a question. Can't you just like put your mouse on a box? Put the keyboard raised too, like if you want to stand? I feel like this was supposed to be a shortcut that took twice as long. Quite unnecessary. 
Everyone thought I was crazy for inventing my own toothbrush. You fill it with your favorite toothpaste and take it on vacation, work. Oh, what? This is the invention I never thought I needed because I always forget a toothbrush whenever I travel, sometimes on purpose, because I don't want to bring my bathroom toothbrush on vacation with me. And also, I don't like packing toothpaste and toothbrushes. I know it's so small, but it takes up so much space. I have to have its own compartment, so I usually just ask for one at the hotel. Oh my god, the entire vacation without brushing my teeth. I'm kidding. Where am I? Anyways, this is pretty cool. And it saves you from buying like all the little mini toothpaste. You could just load it up with the one you usually use. This has got to be the most useful one yet. Do you have your egg protector on you today? My what? Your egg protector. You know how it attaches onto your belt? Keeps your egg safe? My dude really just put one egg in like his belt pocket. Like, is it supposed to be a weapon? Like an egg holster? If an unsavory person comes up to you, just whip out your egg and just... Don't come any closer. I have an egg and I am not afraid to use it. Watch out, I'll scramble you. <laughs> Back in the day, we had these big old computers. Also these privacy screens. So you can watch Disney movies in peace without anybody judging you. For my eyes only. Okay, but why does this actually look very warm and comforting? <laughs> Check it out, this is the Chicken McNugget Dunker. So we have our favorite dipping sauce here at the bottom. Wait. We place our chicken McNugget here at the second McNuggets floor. You dunk your McNuggets in it. And we're gonna pull away this yellow tab, and then what happens is the chicken McNugget will fall into the dipping sauce. I thought it was like a guillotine, but for your nuggets. But okay, go on. It's like a dunker. You know, because you can't just take the nugget and dip it into the sauce and then in your mouth. You need a whole device. You know, this isn't just a device. It's a show. The nugget's putting on a show. Is it supposed to be the perfect dunk or something? What if I don't like that much sauce on my nugget? Well, maybe you shouldn't invest in such a device. I think I'll just hand dip my nuggies. This is a bit excessive, but there is a light up LED mirror that you could attach and it has a bunch of different color settings. It's pretty cool, but also like the normal mirror is good enough for me. Attaching a whole LED studio quality lighting mirror in your car is just, I think it's excessive. Hey, I mean, that's one way to clean up the house. Just, hey, what does this thing not do? Ew! Why does it smell so bad in here? Y'all ain't got a trash in this house? That somebody gotta throw. They're three day old McDonald leftovers under the table. Y'all nasty. But this thing cleans it all. Okay, I see that you can move the trash, but like where are you putting it? How do you pick it up? Whoa! Whoa! Put your drink on it! Whoa! Wait, make it a table again. What is this device? First, stair, then shelf, then table, then shelf again. I feel like I need to clap for this wonderful performance. Okay, that was pretty cool. You ever open up your bag and you got crusty, musty dirt, crumbs, and debris? Wait, there's something to fix this? So you can actually buy this ball that you just pop in there and over time of just using your bag, it sticks to all the dirt and gunk. <gasps> Oh, it's a jelly slime ball inside. And you just rinse it off and then put it back in your bag. What? This is actually genius. I thought every once in a while you just take your bag outside, empty out everything and just like <laughs> vigorously shake the dirt out of it. I've been living like a caveman. I still don't know what these are for. It's like this cloth that you put over your soup. Does it get rid of the spicy? This is not real. There's no way this works. I don't care. Ugh. Are you allergic to spice or something? Just order the noodles mild. Or, oh, I wonder if it's supposed to be oil and it's supposed to suck up the oil because they don't really do a good job explaining like what it is. They think doing the same thing over and over again is gonna be like, wow, it works. To me, it looks like you're removing the seasoning or the spice out of the soup. And the wet is soup without spice. Hot water. I think the whole point is to remove the oil. I could be wrong. If you have any idea what this is, let me know. Oh, these guys are back at it again. What do you have now? A bench? Two benches and a table? Oh, now it's two chairs and a table. Oh, put it down, what happens? <gasps> two chairs and an even bigger table. Oh, there's more? An entire bench for three people. Oh man, it kept getting better and better. What can this thing not do? Provide ergonomic support. 
there is this little card dispensing device that you can buy. So if you're playing card games, it'll pass the cards to everyone playing. Okay, but does it shuffle the cards too? Or do you have to do that? Because it's like, what's the point? Isn't it really that time consuming to just pass out cards to each person playing? Like maybe it's more fair if a robot does it. Maybe it's better if you don't have an actual human to blame if you get a bad hand. Blame the robot! I didn't even know shirt cutters existed. Wait, they got shirt cutters? I've been using scissors. No way I was actually gonna cut the shirt. What? Just like that, you just roll it over the shirt. And he made a tank top. You could just buy like a thing that just rolls over. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, how do they cut fabric? I mean, whenever I go to the fabric store and I buy fabric, they always use scissors to cut it. Why don't they use these? Okay, finally, this exists, and I'm buying it right after watching this video. There is this little device that you can buy. It's a printer. You hook it up to your phone, and then you can print photos right then and there. I think something like this existed, but they weren't that good. But like, this is printing. Walmart Photo Center, quality photos. And you can stick them? You just peel and stick them? What? I'm going to buy this immediately and print out thousands of photos of my dogs. Cool things that you can buy off Amazon. Don't you hate when your hydro flask doesn't fit in your cup holder? Now you can buy an attachment. Put in your cup holder. Oh, you can even put a mug that's going to spill. You hit one speed bump and it's gonna go everywhere. But it also fits hydro flask. You know what's cool? Digital's car, you can actually put one of those fat hydro flasks in the cup holder. And the cup holders are like heated and cooled. Not only is he big, but he is like big balling. Hello friends, it's me. And today we are checking out creative people on the internet. I love you so much, Nail does the craziest nails on TikTok. And this time, she made a claw. You know, people tell me I have claws. These are the most polite looking claws I have ever seen. The only thing needs a claw is a mild armpit itch. Man, that's a lot of acrylic. You know, for a regular nail, you just put a tiny little layer over. You basically gotta like shape a whole new nail. Oh, she thick with a Q. Those kind of look like they'd be heavy. Like these are some birds. Bird claws. Oh, and then paint them black. <gasps> these are gorgeous. I mean, these would be perfect for like a cosplay costume. Literally any demon from Demon Slayer, they got those kind of claws, right? These are so cool, but like for the moment that you are in costume, then as soon as you get out, then what's she gonna do? Everything's gonna be awkward. You may stab yourself or a loved one. You know, perfect for stabbing and snatching hot Cheetos. This is one of my most talented subscribers. Her name is Wendy Rosa, and she does amazing portraits and paintings. She did an oil painting drawing me in my Nelly L cosplay. Like, look at this. I don't even know what to say. I wanted this portrait. I wanted to hang it up in my room. I love this painting so much. I had her send it to me, and somehow, with my luck, it got lost in the mail. So I went to my neighbor's house. Did y'all get an oil painting of me? Nope. Somebody has this oil painting of me. I don't know if they opened and decided they wanted to keep it and hang it up in their house, but I would like it back, please. It makes me sad I couldn't see this gorgeous work of art in real life. That's not it. She drew this other picture of me in my cosplay, and your girl is so talented. You know, she could do it all. Can you please leave some skill for the rest of us? We got every single medium in this. Wait, this is charcoal. I used to draw a lot. I don't really draw anymore, but like, look at the finished product. This is the original picture. This is the painting. Like, it's literally flawless. Like, it should be illegal for somebody to be this talented. And like she even drew my sister, she drew my friends. <laughs> it kind of looks like she's missing a chunk out of her head. <laughs> it's funny because she probably is. <laughs> this dude, Bake King. Bake King? Baking. <laughs> I literally never realized that until now. Did he mean to do that? It's blowing my mind. Baking. Is it baking or is it baking? You'll never know. He did a cake of the alien. Like, I thought that was the real thing. It looks identical to the alien they found. I don't believe it because the government found it and said it was an alien. You know, everybody thought aliens were real until the government was like, yeah, aliens are real. You know, I hope that distracts you from really high gas prices. But then they came out with one of these and it ended up being cake. Vanilla with chocolate mousse. He died in a bed of Nature Valley bar crumbs. Aliens watching this video from another planet wondering what kind of sick technology we possess. Turn their sun into cake. Okay, speaking of cake, it says cake, right? It's gotta be cake. No, it's a real hand. Stop! <laughs> no, you're gonna have to cut the rest of it. I, I need to like examine every single little fingernail. This just blows my mind. It's even got hair. The is even hairy. Bro's not a baker anymore. He a butcher. The detail on this is wild. Like, I want to know how he did all the little tattoos. How do you tattoo a cake? Do you, like, airbrush it on? Maybe draw it with, like, an edible ink pen? You'll never reveal his secrets. 
Pine bottle or wait, he's eating it. Oh, I like how it's orange on the inside. Wait, no! They're all cake! You know, somehow it looks better than the real thing. Yeah, you know, I don't know about Prime, I've never had it, but these look so tasty. Are those cigarettes? Wait a second, they're white chocolate dip pretzel sticks. And then you dip it in some strawberry sauce and some black sugar. And wham bam, you got some edible cigarettes, ma'am. You know, growing up with a smoking dad, I always thought cigarettes were so gross, but I don't know. I never thought the day would come where I would look at a cigarette and my mouth would start watering. I mean, yeah, it's literally white chocolate dip pretzel sticks. Nah, this arrangement is crazy. <laughs> I imagine handing one of these out for Halloween. A cigarette for you? You know, gotta start them young. No, it's for smoking. Only eating. I'm sure this smells way better than the real thing. Bottle. Hey, I have that same perfume. It smells really good. Now it's just a YSL bottle. No squirter, no pump, no squirter. Wait, that's not what it's called. Spritzer? What is the thing called that you press? Yeah, sometimes my brain refuses to function. Oh, this is genius. They made a little diffuser out of it. The girls that know, no. These are expensive. For what? You can just buy a big bottle of the fragrance oil that goes in a diffuser. Funnel it through the little hole. I like to live life dangerously. I would not use a funnel and half of it would end up spilling. My countertop would smell good, but I would lose half the liquid. I don't make good decisions all the time. And then you stick the little reed things in it and then bam, scent. This was such a smart way to repurpose it because it's like, what do you do with your empty perfume bottles? Throw them away? No. Perfume bottles are way too expensive to not repurpose them like this. Slice a cucumber and then connect it like some Lego. What are they making, a little vegetable house? <laughs> yup, that's exactly what they're doing. You know, with every spoiled kid out there that doesn't eat their vegetables, some TikTok mother is going to make a vegetable house and pack it in his little lunch box. This is kind of excessive. Wait, I can't tell if it's cheese or carrot. I swear that was cheese at first. Now that looks like carrot. No, it looks like cheese. That's carrot, that's definitely carrot. But the border looks like cheese. That's a carrot door. Hmm, <laughs> carrot or cheese, you pick. I forgot to hand my friend a blanket when he was sleeping and I woke up to this. What did he wrap himself in? <laughs> Is that carpet? Bro pulled up some loose carpet. Oh no, it's the rug. Mmm, nice and cozy. And reeks of feet. You know, of all the places to sleep, there's a couch right there. Bro chose the floor. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be inconvenienced. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm not going to like sleep on your couch and get it dirty. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine right here on the ground. Literally rolled himself up into a rug burrito. I'm not going to lie, bro looks peaceful. Which one of these oranges is a drawing? I've fallen for way too many of these. Definitely not the really badly drawn one. Y'all are going too fast. I'm gonna have to stop and slow it down a little bit. Those are three oranges gone. This is what separates the big brainers from the keyboard droolers. I'm not gonna let that crusty, musty Crayola orange drawing confuse me. That's a drawing. You're gonna wipe it off. It's one of these oranges at the bottom. I think the shadow is way too pronounced. Oh, I should have looked at the shadows on the other one. You know, it just went by so fast. The one to the right. Get rid of the top one. Be gone. So was it a drawing? I couldn't even tell. Yeah, see, it's not a real orange. It's on the paper. Yeah, I was just expecting everything to just like, no, that's so good. It's like, when you see all six of them, I would have never noticed. I would have probably said it was the bottom left. Oh man. I even got like a little orange acne scar. I think this is probably one of the first ones I actually guessed correctly. DIY Lego flower wall. That's a lot of Legos. Whoa, I don't know what happened. I literally just blinked and we got a, a flower wall. Girl, that is modern day art. She just took all these Legos, only used pieces of them. Do they even have like Lego flower kits? I've never even heard of that, but she made them. Whoa, literally a bouquet of Lego roses. Can you just buy those? Oh, you can. There's literally a kit for Lego bouquets. That's actually so cute. But instead of doing a bouquet, she just popped the flowers off the stem and then arrange them into this art masterpiece. And then you could just hang it up, just Lego art. Okay, this is insane. That belongs in a museum or the Lego store. There was a water stain on the ceiling and <laughs> they just put Big Bird's face on it. There's no longer a water stain. That's Big Bird watching over you from up above like a water stain guardian angel or a pervert. I really hope this isn't a bathroom and the toilet is right below him. Look up and make eye contact the whole time you doing your business. Like, hello, Big Bird. He seems rather excited. This is such a good fix. I feel like somebody stared at the stain long enough that it started to look like Big Bird. Oh, we should add a face. 
Paint a mural at Goodwill with me. Is that a bunch of letters? It seems like the Attack on Titan language. This. <laughs> the language of the Eldians. Oh, okay. We're drawing something over it. What was all the letters under it? If you're just gonna write Goodwill and then, okay, you know what? I'm gonna shut up and trust the process and see what's going on. Okay, they're just painting over it. Oh, I like when they do the letters like that. It's like when you got a used car sale. You gotta do it in like one fell swoop. No mess ups allowed. Oh, that's not that juicy TikTok paint I'm used to. See, this is the more realistic paint. It's kind of getting out of hand. Oh, those are some orange pants. Perhaps a green scarf, a pink one too, some clothes hangers. Oh wow, it just keeps getting more and more detailed. Do good and goodwill come to you. Oh. <laughs> I would like read it like three times like, what are they trying to say? Do good and goodwill will come to you. Donate your old pants, okay? Maybe something good will happen to you. Wait, that's a lot of detail, it's making my eyes hurt. Whoa, the finished product. You know, every time I see one of these murals, I, I don't like realize like somebody hand painted that. Like it's so good, it looks printed on. Okay, but look at this, how they like clean it up, the logo and everything. Oh, the letters are looking crispy. Big goodwill fan. Now, every Every time I do a hack video where I buy a ton of stuff, it goes in a bag, it goes straight to Goodwill. Cause I don't like having clutter in my house. Hello friends, it's me, and today we're gonna be checking out how things are made. Y'all ever wondered how they make a loofah? I thought these just spawn at a bin in your local Walmart. No, there is somebody hand making these. Like they take the material, put it on a rod, and then like tie it up, and then wait, there's this whole like back and forth motion to like put it all together, and well bam, somebody really out here making these for everybody. Whoa, no way. This is how they do the Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> It basically just comes out of a floating box. And this dude just scoops it up with the tub. Yeah, that was a good scoop. What if you like turn around for two seconds and then drop on the floor? What if it keeps going? Think of how long you can make this. Where does broccoli come from? A broccoli tree? That. You see what he's cutting right now? You see the broccoli? The head of broccoli right there. Wabam. Shazam. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. Y'all thought they grew like mini trees? A broccoli bush, if you will. When I was a kid, these were super popular for like every holiday, birthday, whatever. I would get chocolate coins. See, I just felt so fancy. I felt rich eating them. They were just so satisfying to peel too. But how do they make them? Oh, those are some big thicky bars of chocolate. That's huge. Massive. What a job, my guy. Takes the chocolate building bricks of life. And then into the can you go. Ah, whoa there. The fountain of shart ejects the chocolate into a pool. Can we add sound effects to that? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and then once it is nice and melted, no more chunks. We don't want no chunky monkey chocolate. Oh, it's real smooth now. Okay, but we have to make it smoother. Even smoother. Oh, is that what they make the little coins with? Oh, once they got a nice even sheet. We got this stamper. It like stamps into the chocolate and then picks up the little chocolate coins. Wow, and all the excess chocolate goes into the trash. I'm just kidding, it gets tossed back in to the melted chocolate. Hopefully it will have its turn next time to be a chocolate coin. Look at all the excess. Y'all ever go ham with a hole puncher? That's what it looked like. So basically it's like cookie cutters for chocolate. This is the printer that puts the foil on it and then basically they stamp it. Oh! Watch out before the government copy strikes you for using the penny. Abraham Lincoln not gonna be too happy when he hears about this. So everything gets stamped. And now we know how chocolate coins are made. They don't even put any effort into their chocolate. It's all in the packaging. No, we don't care how it tastes. We just care how it look. Like all they had to do was melt the chocolate, put it in another shape. The chocolate gets no credit. Oh, they even make like gambling tokens? What? Pennies, I have not seen the penny ones. I only got the gold ones. They make me feel like a pirate. This is how they make rubber gloves. Basically dip these hand molds into the silicone or whatever they're made of. And then they keep like rotating until it's dry. Oh, and then it pulls them off. They kind of just like dangle there until they're ready to go. And then snatch, yoink. Machine just pulls them off. That's mine. Hands off the merchandise. You ever wondered how drinks always look perfect in movies and TV shows? Well, they use fake ice. This is a fake ice prop. It may look like a big block of ice, but it's actually made of rubber. It breaks apart so easily. And then when you put it in a drink, it looks like ice, except it doesn't melt. How cool is that? And then you can spray water on it, make it look like it's wet. They also use something similar to do broken glass. All this ice, fake. What if you accidentally take a sip? They look so perfect. And the whole point is that they stay perfect 
graphic throughout the whole entire scene. So if there are multiple takes of one scene, they don't have to keep remaking the drinks. It just stays the same throughout the whole shot. Cause you know, when you on set, there's like lights, it could get really hot, the ice can melt, the viewer will notice, and they will leave a terrible review. This fake ice prevents that. I saw this on my TikTok the other day, and this is the future of vegan meat. They are literally 3D printing meat out of plant-based fibers for a meat alternative. Oh my goodness, the texture, it's like spot on. That looks like ground beef, ground turkey. I don't know how I feel about 3D printed food. Does it taste good though? It's crazy how it like prints all of the fibers, basically mimicking the texture of real meat. You know, I would try it. This guy is making a street sign. I'm very excited because I've never seen anybody make a street sign. You know, like the stop sign, the crossing sign. What we got going on today. Take a sheet of metal, put the color on it, and then trim off the color, and then here comes the decal. It's like a temporary tattoo. You put it under the water, and then you like slap it on your hand, and then hold it there for a bit. But instead of holding it, well, there's like this giant, it goes through this giant rolling machine. And there we go. We got a man and a woman ahead. Watch out for them. They walk in. Don't don't accidentally drive your car over them. This is a warning. So does this guy work for the government? Or does the government work for him? Or can you just make signs? People not slowing down in your neighborhood? Literally buy a stop sign and pop it in the dirt. That'll show them. You know when you get a sunburn? You put some aloe vera lotion on it. This is how they make it. Just straight up aloe vera. Oh, why is the water red? Do they bleed? Wash them. Make sure they're squeaky clean. And then skim them alive. No, they're dead. Pass all the good stuff on the inside. Squeeze it. Make a smoothie out of it. And wham bam, you got aloe vera lotion, ma'am. That's a lot of eggs. Where are they going? To be cracked. That is a lot of eggs. You could go swimming in there. Swimming in a sea of omelet. Oh. But it's not omelet. Oh, what is that? It's cheesecake. Might as well call it egg cake with how much eggs y'all use. And the machine slices them individually. They're all so perfect. Just the right amount of crust. So you're telling me cheesecake starts out long as a blanket and then they like cut strips through the blanket and then finally chop it up into little pieces. They all used to be part of one whole entire big cheesecake. You ever go to Home Depot or Costco and they got a wooden pallet with a bunch of bags on it and it's wrapped up in plastic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look. There's this machine that basically like wraps it up in plastic so the goods are secure. That's enough. That's enough wrapping. I don't think they're going nowhere. So it makes it easy to transport it without losing a bag or two. Mmm, milk's favorite cookie. We can't legally call them Oreos. <laughs> the Oreo factory would never allow anybody to visit. This is how they make Boreo, or Recreo, or even Cacao chocolate. You know, it's really all the same process. Aw, oh, that must be fun. Pour in all the ingredients for the sandwich cookie Ugh. into the dumpster. That is not a dumpster. That is an industrial mixer, mind you. That was a lot of oil. I get it, cocoa, flour, sugar, and 10 boatloads of oil. Oil. We doing ingredients by the bucket full. That was cornstarch. Oh, and don't forget the flour. It's like the big bags of dirt from the Home Depot, but with flour. Oh, and when it's done, you got the big old Oreo crumble or dirt. It could be either. If I didn't know what video we were watching, I would have been like, that is soil for planting. It's dirt. You could not convince me otherwise. So this machine basically stamps every single cookie. Look how many cookies there are. That's a lot of cookies. You know, this is actually a love story. Story. They all start out as a single cookie. Look at them. Millions of single cookie sandwiches. All stamped, looking their best. They're good to go. Look at all these fans. Blowing all the cookies dry. Look at them go. Like guppies in a sea of opportunity. The opportunity is being dumped into milk by some snot-nosed kid with a crusty iPad. That's the dream. They shovel in the Oreos like it's some dang cards. Oh, here comes the cream. Oh, this machine does it. This machine is the creamer. And I guess you can adjust it to put as much cream as you'd like. So basically like pop, pop, pop the cream on each individual cookie. It's like locked and loaded, but with cookies. Oh, and then they put the bottoms on it. They finally found their other half and the cream in between. Yay. Now they're all getting packaged and then they go to the store where I pick them up and eat them. Whoa, 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 whoa there. I gotta put the, what, Newman O? What the hell are these? Newman O's got Oreos? No, 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 no. Stick to your fig bars. I don't like this one bit. You know, forget the whole process. I, I don't trust them. I didn't even know these existed. Watch me make eggs for hotel breakfast. Oh, they come in a bag? Y'all don't have a chef on site cook them fresh? Who's still eating fake scrambled eggs at a hotel after this? <laughs> I'm 
me because they're actually delicious. Why are they so good? And they come in a bag. Ugh. I'm sorry. Unpopular opinion, but the texture is so good. I love hotel breakfast. Like, you got hard-boiled eggs. You got the scrambled egg. You got the Fruit Loops out of the dispenser that's probably never been cleaned. I wake up at 6 in the morning to get my hotel breakfast. I eat it and then I go back to bed. <laughs> okay, it is kind of nasty if you're making it. And the fact that they just like mushed it all up. Okay, but things taste 10 times better when they're in one of these heater things. This is how gyros are made. If you're saying gyros, you're saying it wrong. It's gyros. Basically, it's a bunch of meat on a stick that's like roasted and it like spins while it gets roasted. Sometimes a person will shave the meat, but now you got this little device that just like slices the meat, strips a nice toasty part off, pop it in a pita sandwich. Delicious. Okay, but have y'all ever wondered how they make lottery tickets? Is there a whole entire factory for it? Yes, there is. I'm surprised the factory workers aren't like, mm, which is the winning one trying to like rig it. It starts out with a graphic designer, you know, gotta make it pretty, colorful. They want people to buy it. Even if they don't win, it's like, wow, ooh, pretty color. <laughs> At least I got my money's worth in ink. I would say they put as much effort into printing lottery tickets as they do money. It's a lot of work. I mean, you gotta make it legit. You can't make it so people can like copy it. Printing machine go brrrr as it prints all of the lottery cards. So this all goes through a printer and the computer randomly generates all of the numbers on every single lottery ticket. It goes so fast, like extremely fast. So the workers can't get a sneak peek. There will be no funny business here. I wonder if when they select the winning numbers, it's just like random numbers. They're like, we don't even know if such a card exists. But because we printed out so many lottery cards, this combination has to exist, right? I don't know, basically the same sheet of paper goes through various printers for every different layer. Hello friends, it's me. And today we are trying some TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. TikTok banned my first account after it got 12 million views for this hack. And that was way too easy. We've really been doing everything wrong. Now TikTok gonna let me know that I've been putting the trash bag in incorrectly. So you just like, pop it in. So much more simple. Huh, y'all make everything look easy. You know, I thought this was a cool hack until I realized that the trash bag comes like this and not like, so you still have to do this. And that scares the dogs. So, instead of just putting it in like this, like a normal person, that wasn't so bad, was it? But instead, we're gonna do this. Grab her by the neck. Easier. Wow. If only we could just put it in like normal. Same result. An easier way to open up a can. You know, especially if you got nails like mine. You could do it so easily with a spoon. Just pop it in, pull, wham, bam, can open, ma'am. Simple. Got a can of tuna that's here, my little snack. You know, I already have to lift this a little bit, so I might as well just pop it open. So I'm gonna put the spoon in it, and then I'm just gonna. So I get opening it. What about peeling it back? The spoon can't do that. I still have to like, gosh darn it. There we go. Is that what you think it is? Is that a super special treat? You know, while we're here, I'm gonna show you what I do with this can of tuna. Grab a potato. Four minutes in the microwave. Tuna in pot. Sometimes I take out the pieces with my hands. Do a little saute. That does not look very appetizing, does it? A little honey drizzle. Okay, hear me out. Baked potato, I put mine in the microwave. Open it up, you can put some butter on it if you want. But I like mozzarella cheese, a lot of it. Do not judge me because this is my comfort food and also it's like very high protein snack. And then just like dump the tuna on top of it. Voila, a gorgeous meal. Bon apple poof. Mwah. Foods you've been eating wrong, part 999. Kiwi. I don't wanna hear it. Please don't tell me I gotta eat it with a skin. You don't need to peel it. You don't need to cut it in half. You just eat it like an oh, apple. Oh, here we You're go. allowed to eat this Like skin. an apple? But it's hairy. Y'all just eat it straight up? Hair and all? See, I don't know about that. I love kiwi. But the thought of putting something hairy and round in my mouth does not sit right with me. Behold, I got some kiwis. I'll try the skin, but I'm not gonna eat this part. Whatever this little butt piece is, gotta go. 
Why is it so hard? Is it not ripe yet? Okay, here we go. That did not count. It's barely been in my mouth for one second. It's hairy. This does not belong in a mouth. But I do hate peeling these. When this whole time I could have just been eating it straight up like this. Because it tastes fine. You know, as soon as you get past the hair on your tongue, it's not so bad. Oh, it's a sour kiwi. I don't like it. I'm gonna eat the rest of it though. This is so much easier than peeling it. It tastes fine. Now that I've had my first hairy fruit, I can now proudly say I am a fan. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. You can sharpen scissors by cutting aluminum for it. Really? I got a dull pair of scissors, I just throw them away. Get a new pair. So that you cut aluminum and it just sharpens it. Huh, it's gonna be crazy if it actually works. I cut something very sticky with these. And now they're kind of like stuck together and my sister stole my other pair of scissors. Not very impressive. No, no, no. I'm gonna make you a brand new pair of scissors. You're gonna be sharp again. You're gonna be sharper than you've ever been. The more I cut the aluminum, the sharper they will become. That how it works. <laughs> Did they even get sharper? Oh, wow. Wow. You know, I think cutting cardboard is the real test, but I don't have any cardboard, so we're just gonna cut my hair. Still sticky, slightly sharper. This is how you properly eat a chicken wing. I've done so many of these, but I've never seen anybody do it like this. You take the bone and then you flip it, and then you got a chicken nugget. That thing is boneless. So I've been waiting for my wing so I could do this. It said it was delivered. I look outside, it's not there. I check the photo. They literally put it right behind my neighbor's car. Are you stupid? Ooh, these fries look extra crispy. This ain't about the fries. We must stay focused. Oh. I got lemon pepper and under that we got barbecue. So he like ripped something off the flats. I don't know what he did. Oh, these are hot. Oh, okay, I got one of the bones. We're gonna twist it off. The whole thing kind of fell apart already. But we, we got on one bone out and this, oh, you see this? That is the best piece of the wing. Boneless. Go dip it in some sauce. Mmm, that's good. The boost is good too. All right, we're not done, we still have work to do. The rest of the wing, we're gonna twist it out. Left a little meat on there. But voila, a boneless wing nugget. Oh, that's a good wing. Mm -mm -mm. Excellent hack. So you take a wet paper towel, put salt all over it. Take a water bottle, roll the water bottle in the paper towel, and then put it in the freezer for a little bit. And then when you pour it over ice, it turns into slush. So it's still a liquid, it's not like frozen. But you pour it out and it instantly turns into slush? Okay, this is cool. Two people tried it, so I'm hoping this actually works. Voila, going to pour water all over this. That's a little too moist for my liking. Sprinkle with the salt. Roll it up. Pop it in the freezer. Surprise, this is a freezer. Now we have a wet workspace. Eventually. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to keep it in the freezer, but it's been like 20 minutes, so let's go. Cup of water, I'm gonna feel very hurt and betrayed if this doesn't actually work. So here goes nothing. Where is the eyes? How long must I freeze you? You know what? A little extra. At least I have this refreshing glass of water. One hour later. If this doesn't work, I'm giving up for good. It is late. Please tell me you are frozen. I beg of you. Please, why no slush water? There's like slush inside of the bottle. There, there it is. There's the slush. Wow, slushy ice. What if I told you we've been using our micellar water wrong this whole time? I've been using micellar water for the past few years to remove my makeup. But you're telling me you can blow it and then it turns into a foam? I've just been putting it on the little pad and then just like wiping it away. But you can make like a foamy face wash out of it? Some good old micellar water. So usually to remove your makeup you just like do 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 do. But you're telling me if I blow on it,
Whoa, it actually worked. You get suds. And it keep going. Okay, that's pretty cool. Finally, a hack that worked. Hey, that's not a pumpkin. That a jackdaw lantern. <laughs> Guess I'll take my pumpkin spice latte with extra protein. This person did tombstones for trends that died that year. Dabbing. What do you mean? Mm. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this either. It's just like dancing around the fire, little witch babies. Hello friends, it's me, your favorite not so spooky YouTuber. But since spooky season is among us, we're gonna be checking out Halloween decor today. Most people carve one pumpkin, maybe two or three, put them by the front door. No, this house was like, hold my pumpkin spice latte. And decorated the front of their house with hundreds of carved lit pumpkins. But did they do all of them? I wonder how many they'd have to make every day. Whoa, they got some on the roof. This ain't even a house, this is a castle. Anything with like a pyramid thing on top. It's either a castle or it's the Illuminati. There's so many random things on the pumpkin. I mean, there's only so many things you could do. There's a dog, there's a bird, there's a boat. Okay, maybe it's like a secret message. Oh, here's another picture of that house. It keeps going on and on and on. How many pumpkins y'all got? Probably Santa got all his elves making pumpkins. Uh, it had a one too many pumpkin spice lattes. Blech. I think pumpkin spice lattes are okay. I'm not crazy about them, but I don't hate them. But I'll, I'll drink it. This pumpkin, he had a wild night. This is also like a super easy pumpkin idea. You don't want to like carve out any intricate design. You just literally make a mouth. And then instead of cleaning all the junk out, you just like make them like, Blech. you clean it out yourself. I mean, what you think I paid $5.99 at Walmart for you for? Okay, but you still don't have to clean the mess up sooner or later. <gasps> I looked at this, I was like, excuse me, so there's some spirits in your front yard. So they took mesh wire and then shaped them into these figures and they legit look like ghosts. Like I ain't talking about a sheet ghost. <laughs> like Casper, you ain't scary. This is what a real ghost look like. <gasps> oh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. So with the wire, they made a whole entire person. He looked like he going for his morning walk. Even now, I would be terrified of this. Oh, if you want to take it to the next level, if you don't have this wire mesh, and I want to try this. I'm going to do a video trying some of these. So if you guys want to see that on my second channel, smash that like button. So basically you wrap himself in tape, took off the tape, and then you have a shell of a human. And then put some LED lights in that bad boy, and you got the spookiest Halloween decor on the block. Like it's a light up ghost, and it's human shape. The scariest of shapes. Ooh, they made it out of a mannequin, and made her have a dress. That that's scary. Hey, yeah. Like, imagine seeing this from far away. We ain't going trick or treating at this house. For this one, you're gonna need a shoe, some old jeans, and newspaper. Stuff some socks in there. Voila, you got a bona fide toddler leg. And then you stick it into a pumpkin's teeth. Oh, he got some sharp teeth. And then it looked like he ate the child. <laughs> that was a good one. I would do this. What? This house has a life-size Friday the 13th house with Michael Myers chilling on the balcony. So at first you'd be like, wait, did they just like paint their house to look like that? But no, they have a whole replica house in front of their house, which they have in their front yard. I didn't know you could do this. I didn't know you could literally have like a fraction of a house and just put it in front of your house and be like, bam, decor. This one is probably like the most effort of any Halloween decor I've ever seen. Like, where you get this? from? Did y'all used to have like a haunted house or something? Or maybe they like bought it at an auction? Where do you put it when you're not using it? That ain't gonna fit in a garage. Y'all just keep it in your backyard or something? It's bigger than the actual house. I'm so confused right now. Oh, you could do another throwing up one, but with slime. Basically, just make a cutout for its mouth, clean that bad boy out, and then pour some slime into his head and watch it come out his mouth. Nice. Hey, that's not a pumpkin. That a jackdo lantern. <laughs> Guess I'll take my pumpkin spice latte with extra protein. protein. Sorry, kids, we don't give candy, we give protein. protein. So a lot of people put like tombstones in the front yard. This person did tombstones for trends that died that year. So 2017, dabbing. What do you mean? 
Mm, it's still very much alive. Ombre hair. Homemade slime. Rest in peace, homemade slime. Plump lips, you will be missed. Watching live TV. Pfft, I've been dead. Ooh, what died in 2018? Snapchat. Rest in peace. Instagram really did you dirty. The floss? No! No, uh-uh. I've been flossing all 2019, okay? You know, it's like my party favorite. Like whenever I'm out with people and we're in like a group and somehow the topic of flossing gets brought up and then everybody's like, pro flosser over here. And I'm like, what? Do it. Okay. And then I start flossing. <laughs> Don't say it's dead. It's not dead. <laughs> the word epic. Yes, I can agree with that. Plastic straws. Oh, that's for sure. Look, I'd be drinking my tea with no straw. Avocado toast. Say it ain't so. How does a food die? Especially a delicious one. If you had a good avocado toast, you know. Know what I'm talking about. If you have literal toast and avocado, that sucks. If you have toast, avocado, salt, pepper, cotilla cheese, sesame seeds, maybe some red onion on it, like, bruh, it's delicious. I don't care what none of y'all say. It's good. Oh no, it's Area 51! Poor dude tried to escape and crashed into a tree. This looks pretty convincing. And it's like with the whole Area 51 stuff going on now, this would be like, mm, perfect for your front yard. Where are you gonna get a mini spaceship from though? Do they make it? I don't know, but this is pretty creative. <gasps> this house put eyes and teeth decals all over the house So it looks like a spooky monster house and then at night. It's all glow in the dark. It shines green That's actually kind of scary at night But imagine like looking out your window seeing your neighbor's house and then you see this IDK That's like peak Halloween right there Oh, <gasps> wow, I want to try this. So basically, you know all those like blemishes in a tree and they drew over them and made it look like eyes. That's creepy, but also super cool. I think they overdid it though. They did like too many of them and some look fake, some look good. Hey, I have a tree. I want to do this. I think it only works on like this kind of tree though. Can't have the thick kind of bark. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, so spooky. Beware. Walkers. Grandma Gertrude thought she was funny. It's a walking dead joke. <laughs> they made it a walker graveyard. Instead of walkers like zombies, walkers like old people walking aid. Very punny, okay? No, 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 no. Spooky man. Spooky man. It look like Batman, but it's not Batman. It's gotta be spooky man. So a really quick and easy thing you can do is just cut out some spooky shapes with some black paper, tape them to your window, and then when you turn on the light, everything on the outside, you'll see spooky shadows. These ones just look cute. They just want some candy. Oh, this house went all out with those. Took it to the next level, except they got cardboard cutouts on the bottom floor. They got a witch working on her brew. We got people in every room dying. Imagine somebody who didn't know what Halloween was just like drove by this neighborhood. I was like, what's going on? Okay, but who doesn't know what Halloween is? I don't know, man. There's gotta be some people out there. With spooky season comes clown season. Here's a good idea. Print out a picture of Pennywise in the dark. Tape it to a sewer opening. Oh no, this is next level. Scaring the children. Like, especially if you're looking at this from far away, or you just like drive by and be like, hold up, I saw something in there. People probably won't even make it close enough. They'll be like, oh no, heck no, there is something in that sewer. I ain't even getting close enough to realize that it's a picture. That's pretty scary. Ew! <laughs> the whole house covered in spiders. I don't like it. I don't, I don't care if they're fake. I don't like it. Whoa! Here we have some pumpkins. I thought he was being a nice guy mowing the lawn, but no. He mowed a fellow pumpkin. Oopsies. There's so much going on here. We got baby pumpkins. We got a pumpkin cutting pumpkins off the pumpkin tree. We got baby pumpkins on the ground. We got the pumpkin child who witnessed what Uncle Pumpkin has done. <gasps> this one's my favorite! I was gonna say I wanna make this, but how can I make it? This pumpkin looks straight out of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, it's like if you walk into a forest and you see this from a distance, that would be terrifying. But then you like look at him a little more, get to know him, and be like, oh, he's actually a cutie pie. Ooh, oh my god, that scared me. Something fell on my leg, and it was a bobby pin. You know, I'm kind of spooked, because Evan just texted me when I'm in here. He was like, are you in the room behind me? And I'm like, no. And he's like, I heard somebody walking outside. And I was like, I don't know. Like I said, spooky season is upon us, and I'm spooked. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't like this either. I know they're made of like trash bags, but they got like this whole little cult going on here. And they use some string lights to make a fire, and they just like dancing around the fire, little witch babies. 
They made a giant spider's web out of rope. And then, I don't know where they found a spider that big. That's like a life size. No, no, it's even bigger. See, those people are supposed to be life size. They got mannequins, wrapped them up in like spider web. Oh, that's scary. If I was a child, I would be too afraid to go trick or treating at this house. I'd be like, look what he did to the other people who try to come to this house. Five year old me would be shaking. It ain't worth it. Unless they got the big bars. I would have risked my left toe for a big candy bar when I was a child, okay? I don't mess around when it comes to trick-or-treating. The objective was simple. Go in there, get as much candy as you possibly can. It'll last you the rest of the year. Oh, I like this. They made like floating ghouls and they're holding lamps and it's the entryway to the house. Where do they find ghouls that big? See, when I go to the Halloween store, they just got like those scrawny ones that just, you hang them on your doors. These ones are like the thick kind. The kind of ghouls I'm looking for. I love this whole entryway and what they did. Very cool. Oh, this is another really cool one you can do. So I know when you look at it, it's like, oh my God, it looks like somebody's like inside lava underground trying to get out. It's too late. But no, it's actually much more simple than that. So they dig up a hole, put like a red LED light inside. We got some hands coming out and then they put wood on top. So it looks like this dude like stuck like a duck and his life really sucked. 10 out of 10, spooky decoration. Oh no! <laughs> they got a bunch of skeletons that are breaking in. Yo, when you're inside, they can't get you. That's the rules. They're just supposed to like wander aimlessly past your windows until you step outside. This goes against the laws of nature in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's so low effort, but so effective. They just made their garage look spookier than usual. You know, we gonna give him some eyes, some med eyebrows, and some teeth, and watch him eat the family minivan. Oh no, where are you guys going? I mean, they can't hurt you if they're on the roof. <laughs> so they just got skeletons, and probably gorilla glued them to the house, made it seem like they were climbing. They were escaping. <gasps> I don't know where they found a spider that big, but basically they set him up in a forest near their house, put a bunch of pumpkins around them and everything. What if a child went outside at night and saw this thick boy just chilling in the forest? I don't know, I think about when I was a kid and, and this stuff would have like really scared me. Then again, I used to watch Scooby-Doo and that scared me. This is an easy one, but also very effective. They just got some plastic hands from like the dollar store, party city or whatever. Put them on a stick, put them in the river. And it's like, now it looks like you got hands like climbing out. Like, ooh, we coming for you. <gasps> okay, I might do this because at night this would be very spooky. They just got a bunch of toy snakes, put them under the rug. The problem with this, I feel like people would realize before they were scared, they'd be like, oh, okay, that's neato. But it didn't scare me. Hello friends, it's me. Today we are watching some creative people on TikTok. POV, you have a bald dad. What are you gonna do with the bald dad? Oh, take him to Michael's. Get some stickers. I know you're bald, but we need you even balder. Freshly bald. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, stuck enough gems on his head to make him into a magic eighth ball. Wow, I must acquire a bald friend immediately. I would low-key love to do this. <laughs> it's like a hat. Very snug little beanie. Dad is super cool for allowing this kind of behavior. I love it. Bless. Kids these days will do anything except pay attention in class. They snapchatted their teacher and drew the entire scene from the Titanic. I'll never let you go, Jack. You'll never learn what MX plus B is either. Safe to say, as an adult, I have never been in a situation where I had to calculate slope. The entire canvas. Hundred dollar bills? You know, regular paper wasn't good enough. You had to draw on hundred dollar bills? This has got to be the most expensive paper. Yeah, don't be alarmed when the painting costs like $20,000. Okay, let's see the finished product. It's at least $5,000 just for the background. Or she could be using fake money. He's lying. He didn't draw that. It's fake. It's printed. That cannot be a painting. It's simply too detailed. Where's the proof? Y'all asked for it. There we go. Kind of feeling some kind of trypophobia. Seeing every single pore become highlighted. Ooh! The amount of details like Loki making me cringe. When it's like a digital image, you can see all the pixels, but like in a real life drawing, it's like all of these dots. I don't even have trypophobia, but it's got me feeling some kind of way. Below my mind how people can draw in like 4k no not even 4k like 8k like you draw in better quality than my eyes can see when you look at a person you don't see all these details yet somehow you can draw all of these details 
The chocolate wizard is back at it again. Bro can make literally anything out of chocolate. It's kind of scary. Why is he smoking the wood? Wait, what did he even make that out of? It's not even wood. You know, he already has me confused. Everything is made of chocolate. And he brushed it, and now he's going to smoke it. For what reason? He made some peanut butter and chocolate, mixed it all up. Or sorry, some macadamia nut butter. Put in some little cups. Oh, are we making a matchstick? Oh, it's like a balloon! But is the balloon edible? Oh wait, no, it was just a mold. And then you dip it into the real chocolate. Wait, he actually made it out of chocolate. He slammed the table and suddenly it didn't look like chocolate anymore. It looked like he was in a woodworking class. After the entire day of handling chocolate, his shirt is still white. Oh, and you could light it on fire! And then eat it! There is nothing this guy cannot transform into chocolate. I'm surprised he hasn't made himself out of chocolate yet. This guy is the real life Willy Wonka. And Willy Wonka don't even make his own chocolate. You know, if I was a pastry chef and I watched this, I think I would just quit. Nothing I ever do will even come close to one of his chocolate creations. That's a horrible mindset to have. You're supposed to watch these things and become inspired. Inverted makeup. What do you mean inverted makeup? Oh, she's doing blue. You know when you invert a photo and it's like you're blue, but makeup of it. Okay, I am very curious to see what happens at the end. With it. it works. This is incredible. This is like tripping me out right now because this is like the makeup. And then when you invert it, her face goes back to normal. Incredible. If I try to do a blue face and makeup, I'd end up like the blue man group. Also that Hanya tattoo goes crazy. Life hack, if you're too lazy to get up and turn your lights off, just use your cat and a laser. And then just point the laser at the light switch. It actually worked. <laughs> You know, I always talk about cats being the ungrateful pets that do nothing to earn their keep and just see you as a can opener for their food. But this gives me hope. They gotta pay rent one way or another. Now make yourself useful. Wow, what a magical breakfast. Some landscape toast. A Picasso for breakfast at a fraction of the price. This would honestly be way too pretty to eat. Oh, and then the drink. A cup of cloud coffee. Pretty sure it's milk and tea. Almost too gorgeous to eat. Actually depends on how hungry I am. I've seen a lot of art. This is probably the most realistic painting I have ever seen. I almost cannot believe this is a painting. Literally looks like I'm watching one of those 4K movies where you could see everything. Every little detail, every drop of water, like every peach fuzz on her face, every individual hair. Like this is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. It's kind of freaking me out how detailed this is. I need to see a time lapse of the entire thing. I figured my tattoo artist boyfriend could transfer his skills into something more useful. Oh, this is genius. I don't like tattoos, but you could do my nails. Whoa! Safe to say I have a new nail tech. The boy did good. I love that. Do you have any idea how much a nail salon would charge you for custom designs like that? Artist boyfriend, you know, write that down. You get super cool nail art out of it and you get to spend quality time with him. This is the most gorgeous garlic bread I have ever seen. Look at that pull. There's some garlic butter. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, go back. Did it say slime? This isn't slime. No, I feel like they pulled a Uno reverse card and they were like, okay, we're gonna trick you into thinking it's slime. That honey looked like slime. Wait a second, dude, they just keep going back and forth. Now it looks like melted butter. Okay, I can't tell anymore. Is that melted butter and then they put it on slime bread? Okay, but that's cheese. I don't think that's slime. That's like the Parmesan. I feel like you guys are messing with me. They're going back and forth. They're using some real ingredients and some slime ingredients. I would 110% take a bite out of that. You don't even have to pay me. I would do it for free. That's real slime toast. You can't put slime in an oven and it would get toasted like real bread. It would melt and cause a fire. 170 degrees in the oven, 10 minutes. No, see? It's real bread, I'm telling you. I would eat this. Oh, my mouth is watering right now. Okay, that's real bread. I know what real bread sounds like yeah the cheese pull that's not slime if you don't smush it all up into a ball then it's not actually slime wait no how did they toast the slime there's no way they went back and forth this one has me bamboozled like no other because i would have eaten that garlic cheesy bread god go slime how did you toast slime i'm so confused literally blowing my mind have you ever wanted to make your own trippy cartoon cake to trick your friends and family? 
I actually made this last year and then this year I made these four more with my cake kit. So basically he sells these cake kits where it has everything you need to make this cartoon cake. I bought one of these kits and I made a cereal bowl cake. I did a whole video on that. That was really fun. Look how cool they look. Yo, every time they get me. I don't know how they do it. So convincing. Like that looks like a plastic pumpkin. How does it look so perfect? If you're selling that, I need it. He also made a croc cake. I don't know why this is making me so hungry. Why do crocs look so appetizing? <laughs> You know, the little charms are like little sprinkles. I don't know, I'm so hungry. I could eat a regular rubber crock right now. I feel like these are some of the most convincing cakes I've seen. And I've seen a lot of cakes. This guy is like the YouTube premium for cake content. Imagine if you were at the grocery store and you see this guy just casually take a bite of the mayo lid. Definitely Walmart behavior. Okay, he's back at it again, except with the giant pentagon. Or is it a hexagon? Ah, it's got six sides. That is a hexagon. Bro making a missile RPG. Oh no, it's gotta be a pencil. Number two. Yes, that's the one. There's so many parts. Spray paint them and then, oh, some raspberry gelée. Oh, it's a marshmallow. Oh, that is absolutely genius. Making the eraser out of a marshmallow. You smack that thick boy like it's been a bad eraser. You know, like the one that doesn't actually erase and leave shavings all over your paper. It's not done. It wasn't good enough to just make the pencil. No, uh-uh. Take it to the next level. Make the sharpener. Okay, there's no way this actually works. There's no way it actually works. The pencil can actually draw. With what? Hershey's cocoa dust? This is incredible. This guy exudes excellence. I can't tell, like, is it heavy? It's made of like, probably with like at least 20 pounds of chocolate. How does it not like melt in his hands? What about a shoulder? Like it didn't get chocolate marks all over his white shirt. How does he do all of this without an apron? Is what I wanna know. And when I take a bite, the crumbs fall. And if I'm sitting, it somehow ends up where no chocolate stain should end up. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be trying out some more hacks. See if they actually work. You ever see somebody tap a can before they open it up? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Is that a boomer thing? Gotta wake the bubbles up before I open it. So apparently there is some science to this. Shake up a can like this. Now open it up, of course it's gonna explode. Why? Because the dissolved carbon dioxide gas is coming out of solution. Believe it or not, it's hooking to the sides of the can. If you could see inside the can, you would see bubbles forming the sides. Here's what you're gonna do, watch this. Snap them off the side, listen. Hear that? Snap the bubbles off the side. Go all the way around like this and get ready. Three, two, one, pop it open. Wow. Look at that, bubbles still there. Bubbles are he really still thought he there. did some. I mean, he did. Y'all saw him shake it up. He's old and looks like he knows what he's talking about. I'm gonna put some big trust into him. Do you think I can undo this? No. What happens when somebody shakes up the can? Is it just over? I feel the pressure. I hear the pressure. Okay, so. That's not gonna work. According to boomers, it does. Basically, all the bubbles are forming on like the side of it. And I'm gonna go around and do this. Right, we're just gonna clean it up. I'm gonna treat. Holy, it actually worked. I was expecting it to explode everywhere. Wow. Safety first. You don't trust somebody giving you soda? Use a good old flick of the wrist. Wow. Impressive. They took a cup, put some rubber bands on it, pop the popsicle stick in, pour some coke, freeze it. Wham, bam, you got a coke pop, ma'am. Are you saying I can do this with any liquid? Ice cream. That ain't no ice cream, that's a thick boy on a stick. We're gonna use a soda that nobody uses. I searched this entire household for some rubber bands, couldn't find any. Yes, I opened it with my nails. I don't have a popsicle stick, so we're gonna shove a plastic fork in there. But you see, it, it doesn't stay. I'm gonna put my last two remaining brain cells together and do this. Check this out. Big brain! Big brain. We pop this bad boy in the freezer. When it will be done, nobody knows. I'm putting it with my ice cream to raise its self-esteem. Eventually. So I left this overnight. Whoa. This ain't going nowhere. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> this don't look very good. Looks like ice, tastes like ice, feels like ice. Where'd the Dr. Pepper go? Hard as a dang rock. <gasps> I 
I've been seeing this for a while and I wanted to do this because I wanted to make a furry little friend. You take a mango seed, or I don't know, the hard part inside of a mango, is it even a seed? Wash it, shampoo it, condition it, and then blow dry it. And you got a furry little friend with hair. <gasps> it's cute! It's a lot of work for some company. Nice, juicy, ripe melon. I mean, mango. <laughs> We're gonna cut this bad boy. So you want that, that hard part. Mmm. Wait, so how, how do I get the friend? There he is, there he is. He's a slippery fellow, but I, I got him. Now the process begins. You see, you are filthy. We're going to wash him really good. Really massage his scalp, get in there. Dish soap, clean him, really scrub the mango hairs. Or at least my hands are gonna smell good. Eventually. We must condition him. Come, 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 come. To the bathroom we go. Some head and shoulders. I don't trust this, what is this? I'm making a friend! No, you're not. Trust in the mm. process. You're ruining my mango. No, I'm, I'm making him come to life. No. I'm giving him the life he deserves. Uh, everybody, if you can comment below whether you like her dress or not, please do so, because I disagree with this outfit of the day. You just said it was cute! I didn't say the dress was cute. I thought you said you liked it. No, I said I do not like the frilly stuff. Wow. Dude, a five-star spa treatment. For what? I don't like him. He is a sloppy wet friend. Since y'all want him so bad. What are you doing? He's not a food. No. You scream at a mango. Mango. Ah! <laughs> don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Y'all ever just chop up some cucumbers and oh splinter enter my hand? So instead of going to the bathroom, grabbing some tweezers. No, you fool. I said tweezers. Take a match out of your jar of matches. Heat up the inside of a glass. And it's supposed to pop right out. How do we test this out? I gotta give myself a splinter? Hmm. Does this work? Technically, this is supposed to work with like mosquito bites and just like sucking anything out of your skin, so. How many times does a girl have to caress a wooden cutting board to get a splinter around here? I feel like I'm getting many mini ones. Oh, oh, okay, we got one. Very tiny! There's no way you will be able to see this because I can barely see it. Whoa, it just like stops it when it's inside. Hello? Hello, sir? This glass just destroyed my favorite lighter. Okay. Okay, there we go. Skin sucking mode engaged. I don't know if you could see it, but it's like... There's no way this camera's gonna pick that up. Three, two, one, pop! There, that's where it was. This little thing. Oh, this smells dank. Why? Mmm, the musty scent of sucking out my splinter. The right way to eat a pineapple. They just took the hat off, just unscrewed it. And you slam it a few times, roll it, and then it's supposed to just pop out like that without cutting. Unbelievable. This thing won't work. I don't believe it. Not for one second. I don't think I have what it takes to rip its hat off. Whoa! I feel like the hard part is done. So we're gonna just abuse it some more. Bam, bam, bam. Hit the bottom. This is spiky. And it's making it difficult. We gotta roll it on its side. I don't think I have the, the strength required for this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, heck, there goes my cutting board. This better work now. They're supposed to just be coming out. out. What is this? They're supposed to come out as squares. Why? Oh, that one did. That one came oh, out. Oh, it's a little bite. Like a strawberry, but it's like That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to come out in little bites. I mean, it kind of does. You have to like really get in there. So like it does work. It just takes a lot of work. Oh, you know what? After you get like the first one out, it's coming out pretty nicely. Wow. Ooh. And then the juice. Just shotgun the pineapple. Thanks for being a good sport. Now when you want to put it away, you just... Ow! Something spiked me. I don't like it. Spongebob throw the whole house away. Oh, 
Oh, you see that scoop? Oreos? You made that with Oreos? You see, I made a mug cake with Oreos once, but it, 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 it didn't come out anywhere near this decadent. Oh man, I actually turned kind of cakey. Oh wow, look at that. You can't tell me that's not like a cake consistency. Kaz is not for you. Absolute poison. So she put hot milk, whisked it up. We're really gonna turn on the oven for this? Oh, but look how good it looks. Oreos and hot milk. Let's open a brand new bottle of milk for this. We're gonna heat that up. I'm making a mug cake. I don't care. It should be very similar. Let's open a brand new pack of JoJo's. JoJo's Oreo brand. Smoosh them in really good. Oh, I'm supposed to do hot milk. This is why these are called trying hacks, not doing hacks. But I can't follow directions. However, I will whisk them. I am trying to turn on my oven. Wait till it heats up to 350 degrees. Pour it into a cupcake tin and wait for it to cook. No, sir. This is good enough for me. And it do look good. Yes, sir. Look at that. Looking like liquid pigeon poop. <laughs> it's basically milk and cookies. Microwave. Pop that bad boy in. We gonna do a minute. A few moments later. Whoa. Did you see that? Uh, stop. That's lewd. Stop. A little longer. This might need an oven. It ain't doing the cooking that I want it to. Oh, I mean, the same what I saw, but I also didn't bake it. It looked like chocolate gunk. It's hot, it's really hot. This does not taste that good. I mean, it's like regretting not baking now. Why doesn't this like go in my mouth? This is no for me. Even if I did bake it, I don't think it's gonna be like insanely good, honestly. I keep eating it, trying to get like a good bite, but it's all the same. It's like a piece of plastic in here. <gasps> Ew, what is that? It's yellow. It's like a piece of mango seed got in here. Yolk. My hands are dirty. I can't put my hair up. Can you put my hair up? Girl, do I look like I ever made a ponytail in my life? Oh, you know what? We, we gonna do it with the vacuum. Hair slipped right up. Wow. The perfect ponytail. Courtesy of all the Cheeto crumbs and your vacuum stick. Seems dangerous. Are you not just dumb, but also clumsy? Finally a hack for me. Take a balloon, cut the top off, just the tip. Stretch it over your cup. Oh, wow, you got a DIY sippy cup for the adult baby in your life. Wow, it tastes even better through a powdered rubber tube. Hacks. Are you stupid? Take a balloon, cut the tip off. Stretch it over your cup of roux. Does it not work on these cups? No! Hurry, hurry, hurry! <laughs> Sippy cup round two. Fancy. <laughs> Does it have to be like a very rectangular glass? Does not work on a wine glass. I wanted a fancy sippy cup. Angry mango curses you. That didn't work. <laughs> no more masks. Take a bottle of milk. <laughs> You're welcome. Mmm. I got an unscrewable cap. Pop that straw right in. Now I don't know if this is more foolish or genius. Added bonus of looking like a Minecraft cow. <laughs>